there's four people on here, but there's just a slate. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Well, I'm not in there yet, but maybe you guys are. And uh, with Fantasy Grounds, if you want to take notes or something, there's a little notepad that just says notes, and you can just write shit in there by clicking the little thing. Greg, is that your normal frame rate? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how I play WoW, and this is how I've been able to do you know, like normal raids and everything. Yeah. He likes to play like I'd like, if, if, if that was your normal frame rate, and like that's how you actually did your thing. I would love to see like your skill on like an actual computer. Like if you were able to play WoW like that, you would be fucking incredible on a normal computer. I'm, a, I'm on. I, I, I used to be on like dial oh, yeah, and I played World of Warcraft, and I I got so used to it, I could legitimately do a normal raid. With Jesus. It's painful, but you. Can but it's do possible. It. Painful, but possible. I don't remember, but yeah, I don't know why I said Theseus. Luthies. Am I okay? I don't know. It's cocks on my face. Oh, I gotta make myself <laughs> Cletus, huh? <laughs> Cletus. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> my dude was almost, like, basically Scruffy the janitor. No, it's not Cletus oh, McBunkfuckle. <laughs> it's Cletus <laughs> Maximus. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Cletus Mitt. Are we going to go around and, and talk about our characters before the game starts, or what are we yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. That way, I can't just read half my stuff. I gotta zoom. Yeah, you're gonna have to zoom. It's pretty hard for We had a little too much fun with uh, my character creation, I think. <laughs> Me and Brax were laughing our ass off earlier. We were doing his, because... He meant to put brawler, but he put a he said B R A W K L, so it's like Brockler. It's a Brockler. Brockler. Like with broccoli. <laughs> if you uh, if you guys ever want me to change the description of your character or add something into the uh, little player view you have here, just tell me, and I can add it wherever. Like if you want an appearance trait like Cletus, I don't know what your character was. So if you want me to expand on that, just let me know. Same the with blackest of mans. He's, uh, he, he, he's got, like, black, long black hair with, like, dye all through it, you know, looking pretty punky, and then, uh, he's got, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like, tattoos, piercings, gauges, he's got a skin watch, but, you know, he's, like, that, like, street dealer that's, like, pretty, pretty tough looking, you know? Mm-hmm. What, uh, what hand is the skin watch on? Ooh, good question. I didn't even think of that. Left hand, I guess. Ooh, attention to detail there, sir. Yeah, man. That's, that's how we do it. Yeah. He's got a skin watch on his left hand and tattoos. Alright, it should be updating now. Do you actually have a tattoo, Justin? Yeah, I have three. I have three. I, I didn't that, know. That yeah, man. That hurts my soul. I have one, but... I have one three. One circles my butthole, do you guys want to see? Oh, God. Does, Please? Does, 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 a tattoo, does a tattoo say aloha and the O is your asshole? I've got Louise from Bob's Burgers on my wrist. I got a koi fish on my arm, and then I have Kangaskhan, the Pokemon, on my leg. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank, thanks for calling my perhaps boring past, dude. Thanks for what? See, and all right, so, and, well, here's the thing about all these descriptions. They're not going to tell the whole truth. They're not going to tell everything about you until... Oh, I, I know. Know. I already know about me. Exactly. Like, I know. I'm just, Wait, where are you I, typing I in these descriptions? Oh, you're, you're just going to read them off? No, no like, if, 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 Google you, yeah, if you... Yeah, if you click on them. Oh, you that's why I that's why I want everyone on here so that you can see the player view that I have. Uh... Basically, this is what we know about each other. Exactly. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, an almost legendary medical professional. Yeah, you got like a, what, nine reputation? See, I got a chip on my shoulder, but yet I, I want to save everybody. Yep. <laughs> uh, everyone has a chip on their shoulder inside of a tongue. It's flavor text. Where about? So that's the only background we are going to get about one another? For now, yeah. That's that's everything publicly known about everything. Are you fucking uh, kidding me? 
I have to do a fucking dungeon. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I'm legit pissed. Uh, like I said, if you have problems or want to uh, rearrange your particular background that is known, let me know. Because I just sort of went with whatever I had already thought of for each character. Gotcha. I trust you, man. I trust you. Your chat at. Gotta draw some sweet shade. My non-existent chat. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Don't worry, I'm not getting many today because I'm not doing Brawlhalla. So, for some reason, I guess a lot of people like watching me play Brawlhalla. Like, I mean, that's like honestly where I get I, that's like. What, that's what makes certain Twitch streamers run. One, you gotta be good at the game. Two, you gotta have, be a girl with kids. Three, you gotta be funny. And four, I forgot the fourth one. <laughs> Justin is two out of four of those. What is that? Funny, big tits. Funny, funny and good tits. <laughs> funny and good tits. I mean, I'm decent at the game. I mean, I still fall off the cliffs, but, like, I'm decent at it. Big tits. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm fucking gold ranked and fucking, uh, or I'm, like, in the gold tier for fucking ranked duos, so. <laughs> I'm silver one in right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like silver too. I'm like terrible. I never really. What is that? Your your global what? What is that? Legendary? Is that what you said, Greg? What are you? I don't fucking play Brawlhalla. No, on Counter Strike, you were saying something. About oh, I, I was I was I was double AK. Uh. -huh. Desley, we can't, we can't see your camera, but... <laughs> I know, it's because I could either have it on Twitch or the Google Hangout, so it had to be Twitch. It had to be Twitch. I mean, my stream's not really that interesting right now, it's just the stream about to begin page. That's a nice face, Ryan. It's a beautiful face. You're old enough to be my dad. Yeah. Aren't you 28? Me? No. Oh, look, at, look, at, look at me again and tell me how old I am. I don't know. I thought you said that one night. I don't know. Craig's 28. <laughs> uh, 28. I'll be 21 in like two weeks. Uh, I think I'm 43. Uh, I think yeah, Shadow okay. here is gonna be Shit. I'll be exactly 27 in two weeks. Like, exactly two weeks away. Holy shit. It'll be exactly two weeks away. Two weeks away. We we better bring in like strippers to the Discord. Yes. <laughs> so. Call us and talk dirty. No man, no man. Type strip. Type strip. Type strip. Like just fucking sexed us. I wonder if they have a Discord bot that would do that. I gotta find that. Like just one that comes <laughs> in and just types random strip commands. That'd be fun as fuck. <clears throat> what kind of strippers? What kind of strippers? Kind of Ryan's Ryan's looking to see if they're like actually like a Discord bot stripper this thing. What you're looking for? Make sure it's an SFW if you're gonna post anything. That what do you? What do you post? No, where are you posting? Where? Where? It was on Google Hangouts. Oh, uh, I can't click anything in the Google Hangouts. You can't see anything? No, I can't click anything. Google Hangouts barely works for Firefox, so. Oh, so you can't even see my screen. No, I, no, your screen, well, I can. I can see everyone's screen. You're just not sharing your screen right now, so I can't see it as the big thing. I can. How, how do I make it the big screen? You had to click it. Oh, uh, well, that, that doesn't fucking work. Damn it. Does this tab work? Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked. No. It's like the page doesn't, like, the page registers my mouse is there, but none of my clicks. Shit. Weird. So I have to, like, figure out how to, like, make his thing full screen, huh? Let me try something, let me try something. Oh, hell oh, no. You're not. 
Yeah, we couldn't figure out the Chrome issues, so we just said fuck it. And downloaded an older version of Firefox. Who's playing fucking Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Me. Greg, what are you trying? She now can't even connect to the fucking call. Jesus Christ. I had to copy the link and paste it. And uh, I know what I'm gonna set push to talk. I, I need volume. Somewhere. I'm gonna figure out how. Yo. Mel. Whoa. Oh, never mind. You saw it. What? What Seven. did I see? <laughs> All right, damn it! If I load back in, it doesn't like automatically make your screen like the the one either. Fuck. Who's does it make it? No one's. Actually, it makes. I'm assuming it. It's Josh's. It's just a. It's just a blank like Google avatar. Braxton. Like it was before, like when you were moving the stuff around, I could see it just fine. Oh, no, we should all do. We should all leave the call and then have just Justin and Nepson join so it, it will put up his and then we join. Uh, yeah, that might work. That's a good idea. So just everyone leave. Yeah, because I can't, I can't click anything else. Yeah. So what, I don't leave now? I yeah, stay no, here? You stay. Yeah, you okay. stay. And okay. it should. Put it to his. Like automatically kick his yeah. in. Okay. All right. And, and if it doesn't, <clears throat> then leave Josh, the hangout man. and then join it back. What am I doing? Uh, just you just be... both leave the call and then rejoin the same thing in a second. Worse. So okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It kicked it over. Sweet. I can. Hear. Yeah. For some reason, uh, Google Hangouts, uh, like makes the uh no makes the sound like lower hey high and priest I, I had the same problem completely close the program wait a couple just seconds to join it yeah you have to really just keep driving it in there for it to actually let you yeah <clears throat> click 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 Motherfucker! <laughs> at least you guys can click shit Now? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> See, I'm so smart. Oh, so what is like my dude? Like, I mean, okay, it's not in his backstory, but obviously from the pictures, my dude, the only one with like a criminal background. <laughs> Several people here have some sort of criminal background. All right, cool, cool. I have a gang after me. Put up my green screen. I've got a small corporation after me. Ah, oh, who just joined that fucking now? Oh my god, now the screen's gone. Ryan, turn off your cam. No, it wasn't Ryan. It was no. his. His was on it Greg. Was, Greg yeah, turned his I off. I just joined. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. I wonder if I do this, it puts it up full. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it does. Hey, Brendan, you gotta be cool if you mute your mic. I can see your screen now, Nep. Well, I mean, we, we need Desolated to get that. Brendan's fool. <coughs> was where some was I not supposed to join the Google Hangouts call? Cause I did it a minute ago. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you are. Okay. It is something. Something's going wrong. With this. No. Whenever someone joined it, like like Ryan and Greg's were fine. Greg turned off his cam. I know that, but that didn't do anything because Greg's wasn't up. I don't know when Josh joined. I wasn't paying attention to that. I think what it was is because his mic was on before he muted it. Huh? So, I think it's because his mute is. Oh, on. yeah, it brings up whoever's. Yeah. Talk, yeah. talk, talk, talk. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah there we go. Better. <laughs> I'm so smart! <laughs> nice, Greg, nice. That's right. I forgot Google Hangouts does that. Nice, okay. Alright, we just need Braxton and you to join. Make sure you mute your mic before you go in. Before you click join call, mute your mic. Please, for my sake. Well, we know how to fix it now. Though, yeah. Right? So that's the important part. 
Look at that picture. Look at that. Back when he had long hair, boys. <clears throat> All oh, right, Braxton, so... we need to see the picture. Oh, yeah, 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 let's get that out of the way before we finally set this ball out of the road. What? Need a picture for you. Just go on the internet and find a, find a average look. Wait, just get Varric. Just get a picture of Varric. All right. Uh, and send it to me. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, just give it to Nepson. Or you can just you can put it in the general chat. Doesn't matter. I just didn't get Twitch Prime. I just noticed that. Dude, you know you can really get to your Twitch account and sub to your favorite streamer for free, aka Tim the Dadman. Sponsor. Uh, and now, and now, when you sub to him, you have to say that I'm dead. Yeah. Advertisement. I'll do it when he's on one day. He's yeah. on right now. Oh, fuck. You're back on. <laughs> just kidding. Honestly, I'm looking for a good shot of him. I'm back. Of course, he has a dwarf, but I'm uh, not a dwarf. I'm not a dwarf. Alright, so who are we missing? I mean... Nobody. Ah, uh, bruh, I just got a call out. Woo! Okay, anyway, back, back to the... <laughs> you subbed to Tim? Yeah, same. Oh, female grill. Yeah, it's an okay picture. Uh, all right, send it my way, friendo. You don't even have to picture. You don't have to click <coughs> save as. You can click copy and then paste it. That way you don't have to put it in your thing. Yeah, no, we don't not, need it. not that, but like the picture. If you right click on the picture, you can click copy. Oh, all right. And then you can just control V it into the messages. Hey! It's oh, just hair, bro. <laughs> what I look like right now, I'm not even gonna lie. Turn you up, actually. I don't know why you were so far. I think, oh, I turned you down one time because you were like fucking screaming. All right, let me do like an intro real quick. Then I'll just mute my mic so you guys can't hear me fucking do this. All right, all right, everybody. So we we are going to be playing a game tonight. We're going to be playing a game tonight called Cyberpunk 2020. It's a tabletop game. Uh, as far as I know, it plays kind of similar to D&D, uh, which is sweet. Um, on the right side, you'll have the Google Hangout with the story, character board, whatever. And then on the left, basically what we're doing is uh, we're basically using the left side of the screen, um, which is Fantasy Grounds, to roll and to do anything else that we may need to do, take notes. Uh, but basically all the attention is going to be on the right side of your screen. Uh, so go ahead and pay attention, listen to the story, chill, whatever. Let's uh, have fun. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. You're good. Whatever. Alright, so are we all ready? Y'all? Yep. Alright, just waiting on this way to finish this. <clears throat> I'm good, man. It's good. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I need to go to grab my uh, character sheet off the drop box. Because I saved it, yep. but I didn't save it to the PDF. <laughs> Feels good. That hurts. Um, well, I will get through the exposition then while you're doing that. Make sure everyone's on fantasy grounds, look like everyone is. Um, all right, so welcome to Cyberpunk. Um, the first thing I want to tell you guys about Cyberpunk is that it is an unforgiving world. I mean, this place is full of criminals, thieves, hookers, strippers, 
corporates, and overall douchebaggery. Um, the setting is a city known as Night City. It is one of the last remaining cities. Most of the world is polluted to all hell. Um, that is why you'll see in the rule book there's a five dollar air cost per second because the rest of the world has gone to shit. So the story goes as is that uh, our local corporate here, Flint Darris, has started to assemble a small strike team of friends for a mission he was given. Comcorp, his uh, corporation that he works for, has um, asked him to assemble these guys. Um, so Cletus Maximus, Cletus, you were being chased by a somewhat small corporation. However, one day you get a call on one of your cell phones or a letter, whatever you have with you at the time. And they quickly ask you, do you want a job for a favor? And you know Comcorp by name. I mean, this is one badass company. They are probably multinational all the way from the Americas to China. All the way around the globe. And so they ask you this favor and you ultimately end up agreeing. Um, Luthies, you too <coughs> were hunted by a corporation. However, this corporation was named Comcorp, the one you know that Flint Darius works for. One day they too call you up and when you answer um, it is a exchange they offer to clear your name from their databases in order to do a job for them. one simple job and as you know it it's a delivery it's all you know ultimately you end up in the same place Varric you're a nomad you generally don't do anything outside the family your family is everything for you you're a well-known nomad, too. Just like the rest of these guys here, you get a call one day from an unknown name and number, um, which you eventually recognize as Comcorp once you start listening to them and their spiel. They need you um, as a bodyguard. Um, Kane. Um, you are called by Cletus, who asks you to do a bit of a bodyguard, a bodyguard detail. Cletus is one of your closely related friends. He's a fixer. And what that means is that he was able to get you the jobs that you've done, who's made you almost as famous. Uh, he's almost made you single-handedly famous like you are today. And uh, finally, we have Aritic. You saw a opportunity. Flint Darius is a well-known corporate in your zone, and being someone who was low down on the scale, you wanted to get a scoop. I mean, this was your big break, really. And so you come up to Flint one day and ask him, almost beg him, um, to come along. Knowing that you are useful, Flint allows. Now, um, I just want to go around uh, top, bottom, top, bottom, and uh, introduce your character give a little bit more detail than I put in. You know your characters, and after that, we're going to be on our way. So, uh, Cletus, why don't you tell us a little bit about your character? Alright, so my character is 24 years old. Uh, as you said, he's a fixer. Uh, he's got pretty extensive street knowledge. Um, he's got tattoos. He's got long, like, black and dyed hair. Tons of tattoos, gauges... Uh, most noticeably, he has a skin watch on his left hand, uh, that he technically, I guess, kind of likes showing off a little bit. Um, he has a big family. He has, uh, six siblings, three brothers, uh, or, uh, two brothers, four sisters. Uh, he's very rebellious, anti-social and violent, and, uh, he really values honor, and... Uh, he's married, uh, he's been married, or he's been married, I guess, uh, for a couple years, uh, to 
his love of his life, Barbara, who he's been in a relationship with since he's been uh, 16 years old. Uh, and he does have a ton of enemies uh, for some reason. Uh, the guy just does, he, I just don't like, uh, just, just don't like people. I think people are tools and uh, I use them and I throw them to, uh, to the side. And that's it. All right, next up we will have, let's say, Eridic. How do you say your name? You are right. All right, cool. Yeah, Brendan, you're, you're going a little quiet. That better? Yes. Yeah. Don't expect me to carry thing to get every to do everything. <laughs> All right. Um, Flint. I'm not here to be buddies. I'm here for the story. There you go. My name is Flint Darris. I'm. Uh, you can kind of leave. Gradually tell that I'm <clears throat> 24. Um. I am wearing a, a teal suit and tie, looking all fancy as all can get out. Um, no scars, no nothing. Uh, I have short and spiky hair. Um, you can tell on uh, on my neck there's a tattoo. Um, when I, uh, you can see like down on my wrist there's a uh, another tattoo which you can, which I like to brag about. There's a sleeve that I have. And uh, on the back of my neck that goes all the way down to my back, I have another tattoo. Uh, and basically, I just keep my glasses on, act cool, don't say anything. Um, and I always listen. I always have a recorder in my hand, and I'm always fidgeting with the recorder. All right, cool deal. Let's have Kane next. <clears throat> No. Forgot I'm on push to talk. Hold on. Alright, that's totally immersion breaking. Okay. Uh, basically, Kane is me, is a famous repo cybernetic as uh, assassin. Uh, he is engaged to his uh, love affair. And he is, uh, every enemy he has made, he has put down. And he takes shit from no one. And at the moment, he has no enemies, but, uh, you don't want to make you him an enemy. Uh, that's really it. He, uh, his family was part of a nomad pack, and his, most of his family is in prison right now. And... His parents had died in warfare. He has two tattoos, two sleeves on his left and his right arm. One's a koi fish, and I legit forgot the other one. Uh, he has uh, jet black hair that's greased back, like 1930s style. And he is... A, he's got a black trench coat, and he's basically dressed in full black. And he's got like a, a pinstripe shirt that says "fuck you" on it, <laughs> written all over it. Yeah, that's all it, right. Really. All right. Then we'll have Luthies. Uh, my name is Luthis. I basically my entire life, everything has always gone wrong. Um, everything seems to to slowly start to get a little bit better, then all of a sudden go awry. Um, I do everything that I can to uh, save the people in the situations that I come across. Um, but at the same time, I never seem to get anything for myself. Um, I have one tattoo um, that was forced upon me in uh, the seven years I spent in prison. It's a, a SpongeBob tattoo squatting <laughs> over the mouth of Ariel. Um, <laughs> but um, my parents are in, in hiding a basically... Um, haven't seen them for years. 
um, because I'm being <laughs> currently hunted by an unknown corporation. I'm always on the run, always playing with tech. Awesome. All right, and our final guest, Varric. Yes, I am Varric Vaughn. Uh, I have a dark, dirty blonde hair. I tend to wear a dark tan leather coat with a large, with a really deep V shirt uh, open under that, showing off my glories just here. Uh, typically, uh, kind of cocky about most situations, uh, going to everything with the uh, hopes held high. Uh, <clears throat> I prize my. Uh, rifle, Bianca, uh, over everything. I clean her every day, take very good care of my weaponry. Uh, <clears throat> a long time ago, I caused someone in the corporation that I worked for to uh, lose his seat of power, and now he hates me very much, and he has his entire gang after me. I'm constantly watching my back for those guys. <clears throat> uh, long ago, I was falsely accused for a murder, and I'm trying to clear my name. <clears throat> I had a short love affair with a lovely woman named Jacqueline. <clears throat> uh, three years ago, I was in a terrible accident, of the, the details of which I am, I do not know. And I occasionally uh, wake up in the middle of the night screaming. I rarely have a good night's sleep. Uh, got a little bit of training in some martial arts. Uh, but I may mainly try to use my uh, rifle to, to pick off my foes from long range. <clears throat> I try to keep my NeuroWare equipment as little as possible. I don't want to uh, alter my natural beauty. But I do like to have the available NeuroWare to interface with my weapon. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. He basically likes banging his weapon in his mind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's his real level. Nice. Um, all right, so on that note, you've all been summoned to this corporation. You all have some tie to it. You've all been hunted by it, owed a favor by it, something or another. And so you are called to room 107. And in 107 is essentially what is known as the Forbidden Room, because that is where the executive the CEO of Comcorp stays. The only thing you know about this man is that his name, or at least the thing he goes by, is Dawn. And Dawn has always been a very powerful man and a very scary man. He's more legend, more often than not, than he is anything. With that in mind, you all happen to arrive and are all outside the is there anything you would like to say to each other, chant, role play, or anything before you get on? Um, I am here to make friends. I'm very antisocial, so I'd rather just get in and uh, get this going and uh, get this over with. I'll probably kill you. I kind of disregard everyone and check my recording equipment to make sure it's ready. It's working. All right. I take um, it out there first because I fucking work there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just I'm waiting outside, and when they get here, I'm kind of like chilling out. I make I'm making sure that they're they behave. Right. Like right so, before we go in, I say, please, for the love of God, behave. I'm a very social person, so I'd probably be uh, inside hanging out with peeps. All right, um, as you guys are just standing around, chatting, checking your equipment, whatever have you, the door slowly begins to open, and uh, inside you see a 
very nice room. It's made fully of this rich red velvet, something you haven't seen for probably years, if at all, during your lifetime. Even you, Flint, as a corporate, have never seen something like this. Um, so, as you walk in and look around, you see that to the left is just another wall, but to the right is a um, glass window that seems to look out over the entire of Night City. As you all walk in, the mysterious man that you believe is Don in front of you turns to you guys and says, Oh, <laughs> welcome. I wasn't expecting you this early. Something you know about this man is that you never want to get on his wrong side. He has been known in legend to simply make people disappear just for looking at him wrong, just for doing anything. Oh God. Oh God is right. <clears throat> I kind of like, I kind of like bow a little bit. Not like, I like, not like full boom, like bowing, but like I kind of like show my respect toward him. Sort of like bow your head? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I just kind of yeah. look at him and I go like, uh, <laughs> and I like, you know, look off to like my right or left, like kind of like over my shoulder with like my arms crossed, like just like a sigh and like a, like, oh, come on. Thunder Ray confirmed. Oh, he looks at me and realizes I really have no emotion whatsoever. My character stares off into the distance at a tech piece um, off to the right corner of him, never even really noticing the gentleman. Uh, I'd just be uh, observing the room, uh, making sure I know every possible uh, way out in case the situation gets nasty. I walk in and I make sure, once again, I'm checking my reporting equipment and just wait to be told what what the story I'm, I'm working for, I'm going to be looking towards, is what I might be able to get for a story here already. Okay. So, um, with that being said, Varys, the, or, er, Lord have mercy, Heretic, the only thing <laughs> you can, um tell about the man is that other than his normal status, he doesn't look like anything that you think would even be noth wording. Worth no, Jesus Christ, it's worth noting. It really just looks like some guy who's showed up because he's wearing a simple dress shirt with perfectly rolled up cuffs and simple white pants with a nice pair of loafers that look like Honestly, they could be off the dollar rack. It's general store. Overall, he looks like a very plain man. I kind of like when, like, I kind of like step forward and I kind of like go to the glass window if he allows me. And I, I just like stare out into the, um, the city and I kind of just like grip my recording. All right. Um, he sort of looks at you, watches you, does all that, and, um, as you move over, he says, it's a beautiful view, isn't it? Yes, it is. Must be nice being an executive. Eh, it has its perks, I suppose. Did you always have shit? You say that's okay. This is the guy who we're bodyguarding, right? Right. Alright, I wanna make sure. Well, so far, the only thing you know is that several of you have gotten, uh, have been asked for a bodyguarding detail. Not who it is, what it is, or where it will be. Just that you uh, had to meet at this particular guy, building. As far as we know, this is the guy giving us the job. Alright. Um, if any of you would like to make an awareness notice roll for me, um, everyone can attempt this. What's, what's the, how do you do the, how, how do you roll that? Just, like, is that, um, plus awareness notice? Awareness notice, hold on, let me grab PDFs. PDF. 
Um, you should have an associated stat with your skin. I think we you forgot to tell do me that. any of those. <laughs> I think we all, all forgot to do that. I did. You do did. what? Yeah. Like, all this, remember when the skills you got? Yeah. The stat, what you're supposed to do is put what stat it is. So, like, um, process, uh, pers persuasion is empathy, human perception is empathy, education is intelligence, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't do any of that. Yeah. Oh, well, well it's fine. <clears throat> um, awareness notice is, I believe. Awareness notice is in. And, yeah. So, roll me a d10 and then add your int plus the skill to clear. So, oh. if, you have a, if you have a level four, you add four, right? So, here, is, am I able to roll then? Um, do you I've have this? Do you have the skill? I have awareness slash notice for. Everyone should have awareness notice. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so when it says level, when it says level four, do we add four? Yes, you add four and whatever your stat is with it too. So, if you have an int of okay. ten and a skill of four, you add fourteen, whatever your roll is. Add three to mine. So I rolled twelve. Four. All right. So my int is five and my skill is three. That's a d twenty. Roll a d two. Twenty. Yeah, D20. So D20. my int is. Oh my god. My what my int is eight and my awareness is four. So you roll over plus right. twelve, and then you roll, yeah. So what am I? Which one am oh, I rolling? Wait, no. The D10. It's always going to be the D10. I would suggest pulling out the D10 from the rest of the dice and just. Yeah, I just put it like right in the middle of the screen. Right. All right. So I rolled a fourteen, basically. All right. I got a ten um, in total. My also, what we could do is at the bottom there's a modifier. I got a thirteen. You can, uh, you can click it, and it will change from. Um, modifier to adjust uh, to adjusting. You can add plus whatever your thing. So, I so can add and then, and then you roll and it'll add the pluses. Just to double check, what we are roll we roll and then we add awareness nose and intelligence full. Right. Yeah, correct. That is correct. Right, so my roll is eleven. Right. All right. So again. If you guys look, a modifier on the bottom on the bottom left. You yes. can click it. It'll go to adjusting. You can type in what it is. Right? So you type in thirteen and then when you roll, it'll add thirteen. Okay. Wait, that that way that, that Okay, on the on the bottom left there's a modifier. It says mod zero modifier right next to your dice. What you do is you click it to where it says adjusting. Click the zero, like zero, and it'll say adjusting. Type in the number, the plus it is total, and then it'll say plus whatever that number is, and then you can roll, and then it'll add that that the plus to that roll. See? There you go. All right, so we've got Flint, Luthis. How do you say your name? Luthis. Luthis. Okay. I know it kind of looks like Luthis. Mine is 10 in total. I rolled a 1 and I get plus 9. Mine's 19. Alright, so, um... Let me see. You rolled a 1? No, oh, Eric did do. Alright, roll another d10 for me. Uh, adding anything or just a d10? Just a d10. Yeah. Another 1. <laughs> all right so uh the way this works is on most if not any check you roll a natural one that can be a fumble and i have a little table here that'll tell me exactly what it happens so you roll a d10 after that and say you get a four nothing happens you just don't know how to do it but say you get an eight or a ten it's like wow that's a nice chicken and it's a lizard so, don't roll once. So, uh, I went permanently blind, right? Exactly. Alright, so... I think I've got a cream for that, don't worry. <laughs> Toothbrush to the eye. Um... Let's see, Flint? You're looking at this guy, and, uh, you can kind of notice there's a couple of cracks in his skin. What you recognize as a cybernetic limb that is covered in a uh, skin weave that is made to look real. Um, 
And so as you're sitting out by this window, he moves over and actually sort of puts his real arm around you and goes, you know, there's a lot of perks that come with being a CEO, but unfortunately, sometimes you have to take care of things. I, I kind of like do the hand motion for his hand, or is it his arm or is it a whole hand? Whole arm, as far as you can Whole arm? Uh, well, what? wait, so with my 19, I didn't say anything? No. Damn. So, like, I, I kind of, like, look at him, and I, like, I can't agree on that, and I kind of, like, use the, like, it's his left arm, right? That's, or is it his right arm or his left arm that's all cybernetic? His, uh, right arm. His right arm, so his right arm is over me. Or, wait, technically that means I was on his right side when he was sitting down. Okay. Because sure. so I didn't put his whatever real left hand. Arm. His left arm. All right. So, whatever, whatever side that is a cybernetic i kind of like lift up my arm the same arm that's his cybernetic and i kind of like look to my hand like do a real like hand, like i'll show you right like this kind of motion if it loads this like like say like i have real and like look at his hand while i'm doing this all right i say yeah i agree He says, well, you know, every now and then, things happen out. You don't get to where I am by just sitting on your ass. Kid. And as far as you can tell, he's no older than maybe mid-twenties, so he's probably not much older than you. Yep. He looks at everyone and uh, sort of hugs you with him, not in a very forceful way, but as a trying to address the whole of the area and everyone in it. He says, you've all been called here today to do me a very special job. Now, the thing about this job, I can't have anyone know about. Even you, little media, and he's looking at Heretic going, I don't believe I invited you. Yeah, that's, I, I kind of pitch in, I'm like, yeah, he seemed like we need, I need him for what this job entails. He has certain qualities that I don't have that would be useful. And what You're gonna qualities? need someone to manipulate the story, aren't you? Mmm. Got a good head in your shoulders. Do you have persuasion by chance? Me or him? Both. I do, yeah. Yes. Go ahead and roll it. <laughs> I forgot to add the modifier again. Do you want to re-roll it with the modifier? Please. So he's looking at you both regarding you, and then eventually he says, Okay, I'll let you stay. But if any of this gets leaked out to the world, you know what happened. And you do. With that, he slides over a chip, a singular chip, over to Flint. And he says, Put this in that little chip interface you got there and you know what to do a potato chip <laughs> exactly potato chip. just give me a potato chip put this inside your brain <laughs> <laughs> i need you to shove this way up your butt morty anyway way up your butt morty <laughs> oh jeez rick <laughs> I, I i look at him and i say i'll do it once we leave perfect You'll find everything you need down in the basement sector. And as far as you know, Flint... I panic. What's a basement sector? I didn't know we had one of these. You don't. That's what I'm saying, yes. Do 
You say that in character? I say I didn't yeah. know we had a basement sector. We've always had a basement center, it's just not many people are allowed to go down there. Now, now get going. Now here's the question. Before he says get going. Hmm. Are we technically allowed to go down there? If it technically doesn't exist, is anyone technically allowed to go down there? Okay. Hmm. Why doesn't it exist? What's down there? By this point, he's, uh... He's turned around, and immediately when you say this, he sort of... Waves his hand in a, uh... Like a shrugging me off fashion? Right. Gotcha. Kind of the same behavior I gave him in the greeting. Exactly. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so I look at him and I say, "Fine, asshole. I find I'll find out myself." And he I start walking. And I start walking towards the door. All right. Time to go exploring. Time to go adventuring. I wait for everyone to leave. I'm. I'll head out as well. Smirking, arrogantly. I'm still in the corner, currently messing around with a piece of equipment. <laughs> not noticing that everybody has already left the room. <laughs> I am still standing there. I was actually asleep the whole time. <laughs> and then I notice that everybody has left. I turn, look at the gentleman that now has his back to me. Look at the door, look at the gentleman, and then begin to walk towards the door. And just say farewell. And keep on walking out. Okay. All right. I, 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 I still wait for everyone to leave. You're just like tapping your foot. Yeah. <laughs> Super sneaky corporate. Luke just punches me and wakes me up and then I get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. You're back for a second. Not allowed. So you all- no, Like I'm talking about me and you. What? I'm talking to this guy privately, mate. Oh. Back. Then the crowd falls silent. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm yeah, a media to trying to break a fucking office? story. <laughs> hey, can I check out your uh, recorder you got there? It's a neat little gasmo. Uh, right now I'm by the door. Stealth? Crap. Uh, stealth. Oh, you gonna try to? I start trying to find my way down to the basement sector. I'm curious to see what's down there. Hey, you know, I've got my laptop computer here that uh, you can actually hook that up to. Maybe we can amplify the audio. <laughs> I've got. You'll have to run that by Evan, but I'm also I also roll stealth real quick, <laughs> so I'm fucked. <coughs> oh boy. Uh. I'm just standing there in the group and have no clue what the fuck he's doing. I try to... Is there a way for me to, like, um... Like, if my character tried to help cover up, because he always tries to save everybody, if there's a way for me to roll to, like, help cover up the situation, like, I'm just, um, taking a look at your equipment or you, medically. <laughs> medically? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right oh, quite, quite a birthmark you got there. <laughs> I quickly... And I quickly pull my protective goggles over my eyes and begin to look at your tech. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbling to myself, oh yes, I see what's going wrong here. Yes, yes. Evan's not in here right now. <laughs> so we're making all these decisions with our DM not around. Oh well. We, we, we can dream. We can dream. So, um, as you all leave the room, um, Flint stays back for a second, and uh, he seems to be talking with someone. Um, and as well as that, um, it seems that you want to know what transpired while you guys were talking. Uh, right after this, okay, um, Aridic 
uh, seem to not be with the rest of the group. Literally or mentally? No, he was literally not with the rest of the group. And uh, Flint, you hear a large bang outside. And uh, there's a Riddick standing by the side of the door with a uh, strained foot. Um, a Riddick, take one point of damage. So light wound? Yes. <laughs> What do you do about that? Yeah, how is it we do the injuries anyway? Oh, and uh, uh, roll me a 1d10 against your save. Against what save? <laughs> uh, whatever your save is on your character sheet. Oh, six. Right. You have to Fine. get lower. What right. exactly is a save? Like, okay. like, how do I see? Um, so everyone should have just on your little portrait area on your character sheet. There's oh, right, uh, right. a few stats. One of them is going to be save, then BTM, and then reputation, and then humanity. Um, the save is anytime I ask you for a save of any kind, it's going to be roll a d10, a natural d10, make that score or lower. If you get higher. Whatever it is, happens. So if you're trying to avoid stun, death, whatever, just don't die. Um, make the save. Let's see. Uh, I don't mind the 10, so does that mean I can just never fail? Well, good thing you asked, because if it's a stun save and you are, say, mildly injured, it should say, like, stun minus one. That'll bring down your save. So say you're oh, at okay. stun... One, stun three, whatever, it'll bring it down three points, one point. Um, and I'll explain more of those rules as they come up because this is session one, no one knows the rules and that's gonna be a big part of it, it's fine. But after that, we'll, we'll get rolling a lot better. <clears throat> so on that note, we've had this apparent eavesdropper just outside the door. Um, what would you both like to do about this? I, well, I had said earlier, I mean, we were kind of having a little bit of fun with it, but um, my character kept, walked up next to him, observing his equipment, um, and notices that um, he may or may not, not get himself in trouble, so I tried to um, help take, uh, almost act like a distraction, like he wasn't really trying to actually do it. I didn't know how to... Oh, you did you... S sorry to interrupt you, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have the, the t uh, DM tower, um, Evan. That is a very good point. I'll go activate that. I forgot about it. Because he probably saw me roll and was wondering what the hell was going on. I just thought you were fucking around, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clear that. All right, yep. now you that, that oh, way, uh, way, Cyberpunk 2020, this is our up, first you know? session. Okay, uh, uh, first session we're just like literally i think like maybe 45 minutes into it maybe not even uh still trying to figure out everything um it's a rule setter core rpg or more core <laughs> to be honest with you you'd have to ask uh our dm uh i don't really know much about it our dm is in the chat um let me let me ask uh uh so yeah if you ever want to do something like that just you know obviously um but he's in the chat. Um, he can answer probably yeah, more of that stuff. This is our first uh, session, so I don't really know. We're all kind of like literally our DM is the only no one that's one kind of gotten that exposure to the game. Okay. Okay. Everyone playing the game, uh, like us six right here. Uh, we've all this is our first experience of the game. So as far as we know, it's a. Uh, the it's a uh, corporation um, has so asked us to, to someone has done us a favor, you know, whatever, no, you, you or someone it. wants us to do a bodyguard job, six. and uh, oh, right. setting, you know, oh, 2020 retro wave kind of stuff. Oh, right. uh, it's a really cool. Um, so you're actually knocked out. But just on the I'm thinking it's more of like a like um, a core RPG, RPG but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Nepson would have to answer try, that. Try to, <clears throat> like, try to cover up the situation, help him out, like... Which, walk, uh, which side ahead. were you trying to help? Like, were you trying to help, uh, Aridic? Uh-huh. Yeah? 
Um, roll a perform. Get your besties. Roll the what? A perform check for me. Just well, like no, um, I already answered it. Um, by the way, I already answered it. Just Never mind. What? Never mind. The guy had a question of the in the Twitch chat. Is this rule set? It's rule set, right? This game's more rule set, not core RPG or more core. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to tell me if a check comes up. I've got my both screens literally full. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, good. I this this guy just has a question I didn't know, so I was like, oh shit, we'll have to ask our DM. Um. Oh. Um. So. The rule set, we're, we're not actually using any particular rule set for uh, Fantasy Grounds. Fantasy Grounds doesn't have anything that supports Cyberpunk 2020, so I'm just using Core RPG in order to um, roll on Fantasy Grounds. If you're asking about the P, like core rule book, it's Cyberpunk 20. Um, yeah. Other than that, I don't know what Core RPG or Core is, but uh, I think in Fantasy Grounds, it's a Core RPG rule set. Cool. So, the, so the media is the one that exploded. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, while he's trying to help him up, I go up to him, put a pistol in his fucking on his forehead. I'm unconscious. Yeah. He's he can't even well, react. He just put it to. I don't care. I I I do that, and I kind of I kind of look to everybody else, and I'm like, this is why you behave. Can I be rebellious? You certainly can. Um, my pistol instantly comes out of my hidden holster with underneath the skin of my arm, points it right back at the forehead of said character. As you guys start to do this, several turrets actually come from the walls and start pointing at everyone, even you, Flint. And you hear a robotic voice. Weapons will not be tolerated in this compound. Please remove the weapons or holster them for your safety. Thank it's you. Touched my body. This, I mean, the holster is. That's, yeah. that's still holstering it. Yeah. <laughs> just like I'm just gonna put this back in my forearm. <laughs> oh, okay. I remove my hand <laughs> from my holster. I look menacing with my uh, judo training. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of. <laughs> Don't mess with me while I'm doctoring. <laughs> I take my um, hand off of my holster, but I still look very intimidating. If a single round gets fired, everyone in that area is gonna get lit up. So even the unconscious guy. And He's... total party kill. <laughs> <laughs> right at the start of the game. <laughs> a menacing look goes over my character's face as he pulls out his laptop and begins to try to hack the turrets to aim at all the characters except for himself. Um, I, what, what skill do you, what <laughs> skill do you use to, uh, attempt that? Technically, it shouldn't work because the only people that can do that is Netrunners, they're no. the hackers, but... Seeing as we no. don't have one. I, I was actually just playing off of what he said. He said the whole party's killed instantly and I was, I apologize, I, I spoke out of control. Oh, okay, oh, okay. I was like, we were still in oh. joking mode. Yeah. Oh. And that's what you get for being for serious. And then the dream bubble begins to suck back into my character's head. Uh, I'm going to attempt to use uh, my social skill to uh, tone down the, uh, the situation. Evan, well, talk, first, Evan, talk in a uh, uh, hangout. Oh, uh, talking hangout. Oh, okay. What? Turtles. Oh God. I need to mute you on Discord, hold on. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't mute me on Discord, I only did that for a second so he could uh, pop up. Ah, fuck, it's not working. Nah, it's good, we're uh, good, we're good. <laughs> oh, there it goes, okay, I got it working. Yeah, man, possibly. Stream delayed, bro. Oh, yeah, fuck, I'm fucking retarded. Um, alright. So, this has happened. <clears throat> guys unconscious, what do you guys do? Um, I guess, uh, roll for diagnose. I have a. Can I roll for pickpocket? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of. Before he roll, I'm like, can you please put your gun away before you do so. Can I roll for a pickpocket? Can I pickpocket him? 
character um, fidgeting with his his medical tools already in one hand, not even paying attention to where his gun's pointing, looks up, goes, "Huh? Oh, sorry." Gun goes back into the the arm holster and continues dying with the person on the ground. Okay. My guy's like, "I don't need weapon. I can kill you without them." While he's uh, diagnosing him, I'm gonna roll. I'll, I'm, I'll put I'll put my my pistol back. I'm gonna roll for a pickpocket. Shoot and tie kind of fucking thing. Shit, wait, hold on. They can't hear me because of the push attack. All, right. All right, I'm gonna roll. F hold on. Hang Sorry, on. What was that? You cut out. Hang on. Evan, as soon as you said that was a reflex, I was like. Okay. Oh, hold fucked. on. Okay, yeah. I want to roll for a pickpocket. I want to pickpocket him while, uh, Ryan, I forget your character's Wait. name, uh, is diagnosing him. Okay. The, the unconscious dude. Okay. I was going to say, don't pickpocket the medic. That's going to spell bad. Yeah, I, I, take? I just want to pickpocket him and take stuff from him. Wait, you're the unconscious one? Yeah. Yes. Well, then why the, f well, then never mind, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. The media, the one with. Wait, hold on. I actually. Cameras. cameras here, but the, probably the most expensive stuff on their person is. is, is Fucking just flipped his shit. I have a first aid kit. Can I? Uh, can I help? Uh... We have a medic. We have yeah, like a trained say. professional doing this. It's okay. Yeah. Does... Uh, roll your diagnosis. Okay, so diagnosis seven. It's my skill. Right. There's a ten. And your diagnosis. We need to fill in the fucking stats for him. I don't have to keep looking. That's gonna be int or attack. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be int. So roll me int plus um your skill and. The yeah, I'm gonna be working on doing that right now. Yeah. All right. So well, my last roll didn't actually register. So let's try this again. Yeah. Make sure to roll it over the. Uh, what just happened? Twenty-three. Jesus Christ! Nice roll. Um. All right, so you are able to quickly diagnose. Uh, there's a few bruises on his head that he might be concussed. You aren't sure with your current equipment, but he is definitely just knocked out from a head wound, and you're just going to have to carry him or fucking... Uh, bat, uh, I was going to say bath salts. A smelling salts him up. I've got the bath salts. <laughs> so, for all, so for all Flint would know, I slipped. No, I heard an explosion. <laughs> Yeah, he heard you fall just outside the door, but, I mean, you should have been long gone by then. Whether or not he knows what you were trying to do, then, no. <coughs> we'll find out next time on Drex. Well, no, I'm kidding. And then my character, after diagnosing, stands up and looks at everybody in the group and says, That's my friends, is why you don't try to hold a conversation with a door. And then walks back into the room. <laughs> Alright, so, um, is there, like, a med bay? I have a feeling, like, a nurse office in Comcorp? Uh, there is. Actually, multiple. Pretty much one on every floor that takes up, I don't know, maybe... I'm gonna go on the floor that I'm mostly known for, and we're gonna go there. Uh, who's gonna carry him? Um, I don't have a lot of strength, so I can't really carry him. I guess I might be able to. I have a body of six. Does, it really doesn't matter who carries him, so long as someone do it. Uh, I'll carry him. I have a body of ten. All right, cool. So our friendly neighborhood nomad picks up the unconscious man, and uh, I guess you all guys, you, you all go. Do all of you go to the um, medical center? And I'll lead the way to my floors. While I'm walking medical behind center. the nomad carrying the other character, can I diagnose him? Diseases, since he's been living out for a while. While they go to the medical center, am I able to like look for the basement sector? Uh, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, I decide to do that. I like how ten minutes in, I'm already unconscious. <laughs> you do this to yourself, sir. You fucked up. Yeah, I I definitely want to look for the basement sector. I want to see what's down there. All right. Um. So you. Both, you all sort of split ways. One part of the party goes that way, and you split off on your own. There's two elevators just there, and so you take one, uh, the other one takes the other. Um, and you see floor 99 to 
one, which you know is basement, or not basement, but a ground floor all the way to 99, which you are on right now. Um, while that's happening, uh, the rest of the party goes, make sure he's not fucking concussed. He's not. He's just a little disoriented when he wakes up, and everything's fine with him. Kind of fell flat on his dick. Um, <laughs> now, um, Cletus. Yes. You see these buttons, and as far as you can tell, there's nothing that indicates um, ground floor, or even, well, other than the level one, there's nothing that indicates basement. No zero, there's no B, there's nothing like that. Gotcha. So roll me. Let's see. Roll me. Hmm. This is freaking sweet. Yeah, roll me. Just roll me an awareness notice check. Okay, so awareness notice is three. And that'll be with your in. Well, but yeah, okay. he said that was a reflex th skill, and I was like, and I'm fucked. So that would be a total modifier of eight with that roll, right? right. If it okay, gotcha. So it's int plus your level, yeah. that you have an awareness, and then that's how your pluses. Yeah, so yep. and the modifier, and then you roll your d10. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm putting this stat and all my modifiers next to my skill <clears> right now. Awesome. Yeah, no. So 18. Um, roll me another d10. Anytime you get a natural 10, you get to roll another d10, adding it to whatever. A one. Well, one. All right, so you have a 19 total. So I'm going to say you look around the whole entirety of this elevator for anything indicating a button at all. And you sort of look around, and you're not quite sure, but it looks almost like there's this small outline just above 499 almost like the wood doesn't match up the grain is not going. it's just not right something's not right with it i uh go in for a closer look and i uh start touching it i maybe knock on it a little bit maybe pick at it with my fingernails you know try and see if there's a way to get in it or okay. pull it off you find that when you peel back this little bit of wood, there's an obvious button there. And on it is this skull and crossbones, almost like a pirate's flag. And if, do you press it? I should I, say. I press it. When you press it, things start to get weird. The elevator starts to almost shrink until it just barely can hold you and the lights go dark Fuck. you can generally feel yourself moving this way that away mm -hmm. and all around until everything stops you're not sure if you went diagonally like think willy wonka gotcha you basically willy wonka through this place and uh <laughs> afterwards you are Very able good. to it's like an old-timey elevator all of a sudden like the elevator has opened and there in front of you is a gate that you have to open manually Okay, uh, does the gate have any sort of lock on it or is it unlocked I can open it? It's completely unlocked. It's just one of those Okay, uh Can I do an awareness check to see if there's any sort of uh, like, cameras watching me, security systems, defenses? Yeah. Okay. He's the only one on this elevator, correct? Right. I don't think anyone else uh, went with him. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. And where am I carrying the uh, media anyway? A 14. And then I roll another. And then I got a 9. Is, didn't you say he's awake now? <clears throat> like, what happened was... Uh, we went in one elevator, and the other the other guy went in the other one. We went to the floor that I'm literally basically a part of, where I'm known. You saw me say hey to like four people and name them by name, 
and we stopped by a, a med center. We got him good. He's not concussed. He just had the really groggy when he woke up. And then that's right. where. And while we're uh, doing that, this is what's happening to Justin. Yeah. Um, so clear. Why so I rolled a 14 and a 9 because you said anytime I get a 10 or whatever, I can roll another d10 or whatever, right? When you when you roll a natural 10 on your first roll, so yeah. like, if that 6 would have been a 10, then you roll another and add it to the uh, total score. Ah, uh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's why like the 18 becomes a 19 because you roll that 10, then you roll the extra d10. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I got the 14 then. Right. Um, as far as you can tell, there's nothing out of place. There's no cameras. It's just a basement. And it's really dark. The one thing you do notice is a little tiny light switch. I mean, this thing's analog. Normally, you don't have to do that. Especially in a corporate building. Does my skin watch give away any sort of light that I can maybe use? When you kind of tap on it to bring it up, it has this dim backlight. Think of it as a smartphone, except even dimmer than that. Okay. Because uh, I'm not really sure if I want to touch the light switch yet. Uh, you know what? Spooky attack light switch. Smell it. Yeah. Out. I'll go ahead and I'll flip the light switch, and then I will open the door after the light switch is on. When you flip the light switch, um, the elevator itself lights back up, and much like in a large warehouse, you hear kuh, kuh, until it extends all the way down and out, um, where you see almost nothing on these large shelves, as if this place was used for products, storage of like a Walmart, even. So it's basically um, just a giant empty basement with a whole bunch of shelves that right. has ne that had nothing on them. Right. Okay. However, other than the shelves in the dead center of one of the lights, you see a singular box, probably big enough to make someone struggle. Um, it's a wooden box, something again you don't see often with corporates. They normally like to use secure um, smart link boxes. Okay. You've been able to break into a lot of those kinds of boxes because uh, old software, this, that, but this thing is, you've never seen one in your lifetime. Unless maybe you were six years old. Ancient. Okay. Um, let's see. I do have a pick lock skill if it's like, it's obviously locked, right? So I can no. use my, it's not. No, it's not even locked. It's it's just a box. Um, like, there's no security closing it or nothing like that. Okay, so I can literally just open it. Then I open it. All right. Uh, when you start to pry at it, it is a little harder to get open. But most of the smart link boxes that you can hack into and otherwise break into. Either they're hard to open, or once they are open, it's like opening a cheese packet. It's really simple. This one gives, like, this one's nailed shut, so it's actually going to take a bit of strength with it. Okay. So, I'm with him, right? With, um... No, Cletus? no, one, no one's Cletus. with Cletus. Yeah, no one... I have Cletus. no idea where I am in this picture. Uh, you're in the right? hospital. Yeah. The med bay. Yeah, I'm in the med bay with him. Yeah. You're with me. Roll me an endurance check. I don't know if you have endurance. Uh, let me see. I don't. Then roll a straight body for me. Alright. So I got a 5. So I do that with the modifier, or do I just roll a d10? Roll a d10 plus the body. Okay. So. Um, so you struggle all your might and you yank at this thing, but it seems without tools or a crowbar or something like that, it's just not open. Uh, would so my knife help at all? Down. Would my uh, knife help at all? How big is it? Um, it is just a regular knife, so I'd want to say it's like a pocket knife. Hmm. Would it help with any leverage at all? Probably not, unless you wedge the whole thing plus the handle, and then 
and even then you risk breaking it. Hmm. Okay. Um. Do I get cell phone service down in the basement? Um. You check your phone, and it's again. It's as if everything's gone analog all of a sudden. Like every satellite linked thing you have doesn't work anymore. Even your um watch seems to be just glitching here and there. Yeah. Okay. Um. So my cell phone doesn't work. Shit. I was gonna see if I can call up to the med bay. Um, is there anything, can I search the rest of the warehouse or the rest of the basement to kind of like, see if there might be uh, like a part of the shelf that I can maybe dismantle, like a broken part of a shelf, maybe to bang up against it, uh, like maybe there's a hammer or something else in the warehouse that I find, maybe? Sure. Um, I'll say you do that, but as you are searching, I'm going to move back to the medical team here. Yep. Um, all right, everyone else basically you guys notice after a few while especially um, Kane that your fixer is missing and everyone else you know the fixer has Appeared uh, The last place you saw him was um, going into the You cut out there was at the elevator. Yeah. Yeah All right Am I awake yeah. now? You are. Yeah, everyone. everyone's okay. Everyone's awake. <laughs> well, right before he stands up, I kind of, like, put my, like, hand on his shoulder, and I kind of, like, lean down, and I whisper something magically in his ear. What color are you got? Who are you whispering in? Albert. Right here. Let's see if this works. I don't, I don't remember if this is going to work or not. Uh, the whisper thing? Yeah. I didn't get anything. I'm all going yet. to see it. Yeah. No, Fantasy Grounds actually has a whisper. So if someone wants to whisper another character, do so in Fantasy Grounds. It'll be I am only whispering. I never say go. Speaking in tongues. <laughs> since, since I'm down in the basement, I'm just gonna whisper myself, like profanity, because I can't. Because I'm searching. So, as after Flint has whispered to you, Eretic, and then I like, like I kind of like take my shoulder, my shoulder off, or my shoulder, my hand off his shoulder, and I kind of like look back. I'm like, so where's the fixer? I sit up and test my ankle. Seems it hurts a bit, but nothing life-threatening. I turn to... I'm sorry, I don't know the name of his character. Undead, what's your character's name? Flint. Ah, uh, Flint. Um, after you whisper in his ear, I stare at you. And I say in Russian, Kusak Durma. Which translates to piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I did the translation for everybody's benefit. because That's one of the languages I can speak, but I was trying to curse at him without him knowing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know Russian. And <laughs> I can't in, Russian. in Russian, I will respond with, hey, play nice. <laughs> I I laughs softly. Suka Brayet literally means bitch fuck in Russian. Suka Brayet. Это симая цио хоита сука. Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> calm down over there, you <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, calm me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't so, like you because you're Comcorp. He doesn't like you either. So. <laughs> 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 We're a wanted in 12 system. You better watch yourself. I went to prison for seven years of prostitution. But <laughs> how? Be careful. You'll be dead. You'll be stretched. You'll be raped. Whoa! <laughs> Dumbass. All right, boys. So we're gonna get 
up and room? Grimace. So, are we supposed to go to the basement sector? To go yeah, out. we should get down there to catch up with the others. Yeah. Or the other guy. Alright, so I can hear we're all going to the elevator now? Yep. Alright, so Do on the way there. But wait, um, you guys don't know how to get into the basement, though. No, I mean, kind of more than likely just go over Just find an elevator and hit the bottom floor. Yeah. Alright, so. And, uh, when we get into the elevator, I'm gonna put my helmet on. I'm, I'm, I'm on the way to the elevator. Do I see either Autumn or Paul? What? Oh. <laughs> Who? Um, let me check. Hold on. God, I gotta go back and forth between character sheets. Oh, uh, I am. You said Paul or Who? Autumn. Autumn. Mm, you. Briefly see Paul. He's like walking towards one of his cubicles. I don't see Autumn. I don't see my partner. No. Hi. Never mind. Alright. Right, I go to the elevator. Everybody else. All right, so you're at the elevator, and you notice that one of the elevators, the one you didn't take before, is no longer really there. Wait, wait. What is it? Um, I'm gonna call it's it. Spooky. You're gonna call um the fixer? No, like the elevator. Oh, you're gonna call it? Okay. Um, as soon as you press the button, an error occurs on the little touchpad that, uh, calls elevators. Yeah. And you've never, and I mean never, seen this particular thing. Uh, -huh. I'm just gonna look at the techie, uh, Lithus? Luthius? Luthus. And say, uh, can you do anything with that? Well, let me take a look here. Electronics? I, well, right. I don't have electronics. I have basic tech. Oh, basic I do tech? have electronics. I have electronics well, one and basic tech stuff. Right before he does that, I kind of stop. I'm like, yeah, I would advise you please not do anything to our system. Let's just go to the other elevator. I also have basic tech. I turn to him and say, well, you've been coming after me for my tech for all these years. Wouldn't you like to see me use some of it? Oh, I've seen you use up some of it. You don't think I've done my homework before we were called here? I don't think you even know how to complete homework due to your lack of intelligence. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> we have such a loving group. <laughs> I back me. away. Um, call the other elevator. Okay. <laughs> The elevator shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the elevator. Okay. I'm gonna get in the elevator as well. Oh, okay. while, while people are getting in the elevator, I'm gonna get the chip that he gave me and put it into my skull. Oh, look at that. And immediately, it's like you know. Dude. And you can immediately know where that button is. Alright. <laughs> if I had been left behind. <laughs> Well, I'm waiting for everybody. Yeah, everyone gets in. Yeah. Then... No, I'm laughing because if I had managed to somehow be left behind because I successfully used to drop, that would have been funny. Huh? Alright, so I press the button that no one else seems Can... to know what the now, fuck I'm pressing. In, in response to like seeing him put the chip um, in his head, can I use like my knowledge? Because I have, you know, obviously have extensive different types of technology in my skill set mm -hmm. to try to do like a. Uh, Almost like my character glances over and, and sees the chip that he's putting in his head to roll to see if I'm able to figure out what kind of chip. Um, yeah, I was probably going to try to do the same thing, probably. Uh, I also have a basic tech. Okay. Yeah, Cause... both of you roll a basic tech, which is a... Probably yeah, I have mine roll. here. I have plus seven. Yeah, okay, and, and it's plus intelligence? Uh, intelligence plus your uh, basic tech roll. Okay. Okay, so eleven... And it's a D10, right? Yes, sir. I think this is gonna work. 
Nope. Roll another d10 for me. Roll another one? Yes, sir. Both of us? He, he fumbled. No, no. Because he, he oh. fumbled. He rolled over. Yeah, he fumbled. Oh, uh, no modifier or anything? Yeah, Nothing no. Else one. Yeah. Okay. Um, you look at this, and you're just trying to figure out which kind of chip, and you, you just can't even... Honestly, it looks like a tortilla. <laughs> mm. He's putting food in his head. So it was a potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I thought. Now, Varric, you are able to recognize that this is a memory chip. Like, it's a specific memory. Other than that, you, you wouldn't be able to find out exactly what kind of chip, other than that. Now, can I can I ask a quick question? You certainly may. After failing or fumbling type of skill, if my character is confused because of the reaction of that, can I use another skill set to try to figure out what it is? How would you go about figuring out what it is? Because these chips, most of them look roughly the same, but because there are three types of chips, memory chips. Is there anything storage. I could do with cyber tech and what I have in my on my person? I guess he would be aware of what I'm doing because he's, well, awake. Probably not. Cybertech's going to deal with the thing that he put it in, but the basic tech could tell you what the actual thing is. Okay. I was just curious. Yeah. Um, on that note, Flint, you know what you have to do. And do you do it? And when he uh, puts it in, I'll say uh, what you remember in there. I look at him and I smile and I press the wood. You see me just poke wood. Exactly. But when he does so, rats. Suddenly the elevator begins to move, and again it flips its lights off and begins to crush all of you just slightly. Like you're all getting real personal right yeah. now. Oh shit, the corporate broke it. <laughs> Fun. So I got my camera on my shoulder still, just attached there. Is it on? Yes. Okay. How are you checking if it's on or not? Are you using your cyberlink with it? I don't have a cyberlink. Oh, you don't? Okay, so you, you are just going on blind faith that that thing's on. Well, I turned it on before I got into the building. I thought I said that. I... You did. Okay, cool. Um, so far... It seems everything's okay. Like you're you're a bit you're a bit tight, you're a bit personal with everyone, but you get there. And once again, as you uh, begin to get to the destination, everything finally stops, and the elevator doors open. The lights flick on into the elevator, and outside, past this gate you can see rows and rows of shops. And you know the rest from there. There's oh, the Oh, do you see the other guy down there? Yeah, well, you see him, you see something, a figure doing something in the far distance, essentially. All right. I'm going to look at Flint and say, no one else should be down here yet, right? I guess he's not got it on his own. Maybe he's smarter than he looks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, have my uh, rifle out. I'm going to look down the scope uh, at the person and see if I can uh, yeah. start recognizing him. Uh, you do. You recognize him as uh, the fixer. All right. And I'll uh, put it back in its holster and say, don't worry, guys. It was the fixer. Being the sarcastic one, I turn to everybody after getting out of the elevator that was starting to crush itself and say, do you think Luke got 3PO to turn off the trash compactor in the detention level? <laughs> I kind of laugh myself and then look at everybody and then giggle again and then stop and kind of stare off into the distance. It appears so. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> it's just, it's just no one's laughing, so he just looks down and just shuts up and continues walking. <laughs> I begin to fiddle with, with uh, a random piece of tech in my backpack. Oh, high five. 
<laughs> While the tech is in his hand, you just get stabbed by a random dart. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh shit, I'm <laughs> Right, so I'm, I'm gonna walk over to the fixer. I'm gonna walk over as well. By now, um... Yeah, have I found anything to open yeah, by the... by now, Cletus, uh, you were able to find... And, and by the way, I'm gonna refer to everyone by their character name here on. Just to Good. get everyone in the habit of who's who, does what. So, Cletus, you were actually able to find sort of a broken piece of the shelf. It was just old. You figured you could try and pry it off, and it took a while, but you were able to yank it to the point where it's about to snap. As it snaps, actually, you have someone talking right behind I hear them talking, and I'm, like, right in the middle of the snap, and I get kind of startled because I'm, like, really into the snap, and I slip... And I turn around, all startled, and I'm like, Whoa, hey, I didn't hear you guys coming. Yeah, the creepy elevator took us here. No one hears me coming. Did you guys ride that creepy elevator too? What kind of tech do you think that was? Spooky. Does anyone else's oh, uh, tech... I spe speaking of tech, does anyone else's tech work down here? Does your camera still work? I'm gonna check my camera real quick. As far as you can tell, Heretic, it has, it's not been recording at all. Which you find very strange. Yeah, since, recording since they... Tape. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, uh, when he's checking his, uh, camera, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what kind of tech that is either. And I work for this company. And, uh, around as I try and get my camera to start recording again. What the hell? All right. So while he's trying to fix his camera, I look at uh, I look at who has the a lot of body, the big body guy. Is that is that Kane? Kane and Barrett. Okay. Uh, yeah. I uh, look at Kane and I, I I ask him. I say, Hey, can uh, you help me pry this uh, crate open? So, you both walk over to this crate, and uh, who wants to attempt the uh, endurance Nate. check? You? Okay. Hey, can I ask, um, for my character, uh... What's up? Is there a lock to be picked? Not on the box, no. Yeah, it's just a, a wooden crate that's nailed together. Ah, oh, it's just a wooden crate, okay. We could both try at the same time with their uh, endurance. Yeah, if you guys want to, you can do a um, combined check. So I have plus 13. Alright, go ahead and roll your stuff with modifiers. Endurance plus body. I'm supposed to talk to me. <laughs> what, what am I doing here? I'm rolling D10. Um, with plus modifying, body. Yeah, body plus your endurance. Where's my endurance? Give me, give me a second. Should be a skill. If you don't have it, just roll body. Alright, so D10. Okay, hold on. Mm hmm. Alright, so on. with a combined total of 33, you both are able to basically rip this fucking thing apart. It was tough as nails. I mean, it, this this was like a wooden log, solid block of wood. But fortunately, when you get inside, oh, okay. there's a small box, it seems, that is made of what seems like pure metal. Whereas most everything in there is either an ancient iron or steel substance. This looks like a sterling silver or something fantastical. 
of that note. And uh, it opens up a small port in the top and a holographic image appears of a woman. And it explains, you have been selected for a job, a very specific job. Outside of this warehouse, you will find the necessary goods to deliver. We need you to deliver it to the combat zone. Now, you will find the person you need to deliver this to when you approach a man named Rhetoric. And it's spelled R-E-D R-I-C-K <coughs> When you find Redrick, you will ask him for the final drop-off If this is not completed by the end of the year you will be pursued and assumed to have stolen these guys and prosecuted them to the full extent of the law and hunted by our megacorp This will not be on any books except our own personal files for reading this and understanding, you have accepted the job. Thank you for your participation. I want to check my recorder to make sure I could, if I had gotten it working, to make sure I, record, I got that all on record. Wait, yeah, hold on one second. My the Steam overlay for some reason opens up in the game for some reason as I'm typing, and it like makes everything crash for a second so hold on I'm like taking a note I need the company name or whatever that she gave I'm taking notes um the company you mean the guy that it was supposed to be delivered to yeah Redrick R -E -R -I -C -K. okay R-I-C-K alright hold on it's like for some reason like if you look at the stream it's like fucking weird I might have yeah. to like load back into the fucking game yeah I gotta load back into the game Really wait, wait, right. there know. we go, there we go. Okay, hold on. Maybe? Maybe? Except, yeah, there we go, I'm back. Okay, accepted job. Uh, R-E-D-R-I-C-K. Okay, gotcha. And I will make that public. So everybody else... I've taken a couple notes. I don't know if any of them are important, but I've made them all public. I got Holographic Lady, Room 107, and Comcore. Honestly, every note could be vital. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um, as a side note, what I might try to do, because I didn't realize that this was a core RPG, is I might try and just uh, adjust one of the character sheets so that we can actually put all our character sheet information onto Fantasy Grounds. And that way, everyone can just take notes through that. They don't have to watch a Google Hangouts <laughs> and fuck around with it. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, so did I, was I able to get my recording equipment working again? No, it, it, it's completely fried. Not necessarily uh, fried, but it's it, it won't turn on. It glitches. It, every time you try and turn it on, it, it just gets worse. the hell's going on with this shit? Uh, they told me this was top. This was top end. This uh, the small silver box is separate from the uh, large box, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It was inside the box. The yeah, wooden box. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, after the hologram is done, I could uh, pick it up and uh, have a look around it uh, and see if I can find any sort of uh, like a maker's mark or uh, like trademark or anything okay uh roll me awareness notice all right uh eight well shit another d10 uh yeah um you just aren't able to find anything looks like a it's a box, box. It's a nice box. Well, okay, so like we're in the basement. She said outside. Does that mean there's like a fucking garage in this basement? Are you saying? Is there a loud? door anywhere here? Yeah. No, I'm just looking around. See if I like there's like a door or. Anything. 
Uh, as far as you can see, there ain't shit. And you're confused, I, I, I'm assuming. I'm gonna frown and say, Well, looks like we're gonna die here. <laughs> Great, thanks for... Let me join your story. Run. <laughs> All right, give me one before here. before we have the media uh, the media over here writing his fucking will, let's try to find a way out of here. Is the elevator still there? Um, it is. I say let's try the elevator. Maybe that'll fix it. Can we also make sure we take that hologram as well? Oh, okay. Like, what? Like, the tech. Like, let's not leave it in the box. Let's make sure someone takes it. Uh, I would yeah. say have the techie get it. Have that put them through around with it. Yeah, maybe there's a way to, like, trace it back to it, the uh, maker. <laughs> Yeah, um, in the lady did specify, like, there was a package out there, and I should have said this, but she wanted you to pick up that, too. Take it with you. That's my bad. Um, let's see here. Sorry, give me one second here. I'm going to type up everything so far that's happened. Make sure it's all nice. <laughs> The uh, basement level is uh, underground, correct? Like, pretty much every basement. Yeah, pretty much. Um, on that note... Um, everyone around... Huh? Someone just rolled a lot of defense. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I damn it around. Um, so you have the box. Uh, who who ended up taking the box? The techie? <laughs> or, yeah, well, well, then I did then, I guess, if the techie didn't. Okay. Well, how big? I mean, I thought the box was massive. Uh, not the box inside. Ah. <clears throat> just the, yeah, just the little holographic box. I mean, oh, okay, well then, yeah, I'll take it, because I'll end up fiddling with it, maybe break it down for parts. I just need to know what what's the like. Is it gonna add to my weight or anything like that? Nah. I mean, what? it's super small. So, what do you want me to call it? Hologram. Hologram Holo box first. Holo box. Alright, so I guess I can just uh, take the elevator back up and see if we can find a way out. And uh, is there a value to that? Value? No. So I couldn't sell for anything, so I'll put it in the cereal. I'll, I guess I'll step into the locker and burn into the elevator and just... <laughs> step into the locker. <laughs> He's I'm going into the locker room. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep trying to get my crap to work. That's gay. I follow, uh... Um... I follow... How do you say your name? Eridic? Yeah. Into the locker. <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Into the elevator. Elevator. I lean over and I go, "What did he whisper to you?" He said something about how he doesn't want not to make him take me off this mission by force. Ah. What do you think he I meant by that? If I got on his bad side, he'll kill me. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys are being very quiet. And we're all stuck in an elevator. So, <laughs> no, no. I kind of like, I kind of like look over. I'm just like, I won't do it. I'll do it. Point damn, he'll do it. 
Oh I'm yeah, that's aimlessly... right. You're corporate. You can't get your hands dirty. <laughs> I'm still yeah. aimlessly messing with the hollow box. The little screwdriver while I'm talking to everybody looking down. Not really acknowledging or, or noticing what I'm saying. I look to the media. I'm just like, why well, get my hands dirty when I can get someone else's hand dirty and get my money back? Um, when you try and fiddle with the silver box, it doesn't seem it has any particular amount of screws. It doesn't seem that. Yeah, it's... I was about to ask you, is there any way to open it at all? It's a plain box with a singular, um, hard, uh, almost like plasteel plate at the top that is semi. Uh, what's the word? Translucent. Would a pick lock um, help with help in any way? Uh, that, you can uh, finding a small opening or something like that. You can definitely try. Sure. Roll pick lock, which you have. Do you have the stat with it? Yeah, no? I, I have everything calculated cool. on the skill. Awesome. Roll that for me. Um, as far as you can tell, there's no opening. Yeah, help shrug and say, well, yeah, this thing seems impenetrable to me. Um, let's see here. Justin, I see you. Don't, don't be dangerous to the girl, Hala. I'll fight you. <laughs> I don't know what to change it to, man. It's gotta be, there's gotta be a section for tabletop, man. I thought there was. Just put it in Fantasy Grounds. That's what he has it on. Uh, and he wants to change it? Yeah. I got. It. We'll just do tabletop simulator. Push, push now. Basically, a tab, a tab, a tab level level to force him in the lake. Yeah. I mean, it's a tabletop game, so it does count. I'm sure. I'm sure someone has a moderate game mode for tabletop simulator for this. I'm sure anyway. Actually, I think they do. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, with that being said, you all are on the elevator, and as soon as you, any of you, try to click any of the buttons, it just... Mm -hmm. That. It farts. Nothing, yeah, exactly. Just nothing happens. Kane just looks at fucking uh, Lupus and just, just gives him a blank stare and just says, nice. I use uh, some of my some of my street knowledge. I got uh, the streetwise skill, and I start like doing weird combinations on like the like elevator buttons. I start pressing like different numbers and combinations, see if there's maybe like a password to like reset the uh, the uh, elevator. I look at Flint and just be like, "Your boss tell you how how we're supposed to get out of here." Fucking Luthus hacks the elevator and turns it into Dance Party 7. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're all just fucking like hitting the tiles on the floor and then um, dancing can I, to it. Can I roll basic tech to troubleshoot the issue? You certainly may. Can I try to access the fucking memory chip? You certainly um, may. So. I have to roll for that. Uh, you don't have to roll. Um, I will tell you exactly. Well, here's my. Well, should I wait for him to do his thing first? No, you can go ahead. All right, and I say, uh, I turn, and I say, man, your your company for being a multi-billion-dollar company really can afford the best equipment. I roll a twenty. Wait, you rolled a twenty? Yeah, my my basic tech is ten plus my skill level. And then I, I will die. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, you are looking at this particular elevator module, and as far as you can tell, this thing is just frozen. I mean, you can click it and you touch it, and nothing just happens. Unfortunately, you're not a net runner to be able to uh, jack into the thing itself. So, just... are we in a shaft though? Because this elevator is still kind of like like this is the Willy Wonka elevator, right? So, like technically, we're not in like any sort of shaft. So, where are we? That's a very good question, and you are not sure. All those dramatics in the elevator, left, right, diagonal, all that, left you 
unsure of where you were exactly. How are you adding more skill points to your thing? So can I like, can I um, uh, what should we call it? Can can we oh, like yeah. try to uh, pry open the door maybe? I forgot that I had a a additional streetwise from uh having a cop friend in my uh, story, so I was adding that then. That's only when you call on him for help, though. No, it is okay. Can we try to pry the doors open to like maybe see where we are? Which doors? The elevators, the elevator doors. The elevator doors open to the uh, old timey cage for old timey elevators, and you found the uh, warehouse like building. Oh my god, okay, let me up front, people. I got this, don't worry. I, I am. I I'm the reason you guys are going to be surviving. I press first floor, zero floor, seventh floor. Um, what do you press for the zero floor? There's only one through 99. Hit the fucking wood Lobby part. your ground floor. Cool. What happened to, wood, uh, wood part. what happened with my tech roll? I'm sorry. Uh, you weren't able to discern anything. This was something that just looked like a normal freeze to you. Uh. Um, I will say when it comes to tech and stuff like that, that it deals with, uh, gadgets and stuff like that. Not normally computer interfaces. That's gonna be not uh. runner stuff. Which, again, we don't have, and that's a shame. I can, uh, grab one later. <laughs> of note. On that note, uh, as soon as Flint does his deal and starts pressing random buttons to what you guys seem as random, that is, um, the elevator closes and it's extra tight now that there's an extra person in there because it's still small. And uh, it begins moving again and after what you gather is maybe five minutes of being in this cramped fucking room, you, uh, have the doors slowly open. And there in front of you is a door. Like directly in front of the elevator or is it a shooting up? Yep, directly in front base. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, step forward and open the door. When you open the door, the outside world is right in front of you in a parking lot. <laughs> I just walk out. You do see a nice, large, plasteel smart link container. Something that um, the corporation uses a lot, Comcorp and many others. Um, with on the side written of it, for private use only. I'm gonna check to see if I can get my camera and recording equipment working again. Yeah, does our tech now work that we're outside and away from all that interference? Yes. Uh, for the uh, Neuralink over there, uh, could I use my interface plug with it? Uh, you can. While they're trying to get that box open, I pull out my cell phone and I search the web or whatever would be around in this universe for uh, anything for Redrick. Redrick pulls up a small um, few snippets on um, the Google. The Google? <laughs> the Google. <laughs> in tw in, in what are the few snippets? Uh, what you gather is um, just wives' tales and children's stories. The tale of Redrick the Great. Do we have any last names to go by? Anything real to search other than Redrick the Great? As far as you know, no. Okay. Um, it's just a tale. Okay. <laughs> Dude with the cop, buddy. <laughs> Give him a call. <laughs> well, I do have a cell phone, but I don't have a service plan that I'm... Oh, before, God! So. <laughs> Would I you like to it. borrow my phone? <laughs> Yes. Um, okay. To be fair, and I, I'll, I'll point this out as a fixer, you know how to get the underground details with a street deal. Ah. That is, you have an advanced form of streetwise. Okay, so I we don't even need to contact the police. All right, so uh, 
I go into my phone and uh, I guess I use my street deal. So, you know, I go into my phone, I look for the contacts that I would know that maybe have a lead for it. So I guess I would roll, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's eight. So then what would it be? What would I roll it with? Or would I just roll it with a D10 with a modifier of eight? It'll be int. What is your main? Stat? Okay, my int is five. And for street deal, it's eight. Streetwise okay. is under cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Do cool. Oh wait, hold on. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be seven. Points. Okay, so seven and eight. So I do. Jesus. So what modifiers? So that's seventeen. Eight. So I roll a d10 with a modifier of what? Why is it seventeen? It's fifteen. Eight. You're fucking right. You're right. <laughs> Shut up, Greg. <laughs> All right. So that's 19. It's a 21 because it's 17, not... Oh, it's 15. I'm drunk. Never mind. Fuck me. You got me all fucked up. It's 19. <laughs> you guys gonna be okay? Yes, it is I'm 19. I'm dying. It is 19. Okay. Uh, with that, you're able to ca call up a few contacts that you know have dealt with mysterious figures like this before, people that just don't want to be found, under the table deals, especially with corporations, and uh, they've heard the name. Um, what you garner from the calls you make is that Redrick is a handle um, that this really shady guy that comes into the quick stop motel to do a few deals with certain people. I'm not sure what kind of people, but he goes to this motel and it's outside the combat zone. Um well, he's doing this, I'm going to go over to that uh, neural link and put in my interface plug and say, uh, well, let's see what we can find here. When you do that, you're able to um, almost Almost as soon as you plug yourself in, you see basically an open button, and you are able to open the container. Open the uh, hologram container? Yep. No, not the hologram container, the uh, plastic one. Smart one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Might be a call outside. The what? What's he opening? The container that you guys were in front of. Uh, I open it. Okay. When you open it, you see a um, duffel bag or five of, I'm not sure, but it's pretty heavy. And they're all black. So there are five duffel bags, aka okay. there's not one for me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, hey, I'll uh, take one out, set it on the ground, and uh, unzip it. What you find are a load of chips. Well, you're just completely full of chips. Hold on. Computer chips, poker chips, what kind of chips? Yeah. Um, it's a, uh, all these duffel bags, as far as you know, especially the one you opened, are full of, um, interface chips, which, uh, like Flint has, he has a gotcha. data chip insert as a cybernetic. Um, they're essentially, more often than not, a bunch of uh, memory chips, reflex chips, or intelligence chips. All of which do something. They give you immediate knowledge of something. They like the Matrix. Hey, teach me how to fly a helicopter. Uploaded kind of thing. Pretty much, yeah. Gotcha. Um, every, everyone knows, as common knowledge when it comes to chips, is that most, if not all of them, only do a small few basic things, because it is telling your brain to do something that it never knew before. Alright, I'll, uh, scoop a sample of them, hold them out to the group and say, uh, oh, it looks like the cargo here is a shit ton of chips. I turn to Flint and say, hey, do you want to use that brain map of yours to try out these chips to let us know what's going on? We, we were hired I'm to gonna deliver. We were hired, we were hired to deliver them, not find out what they do. Fair enough. And I, and I grab my bag and 
I try to find my vehicle. Are these I'm labeled sure I got a clear these? shot of the chips. While they're looking at the chips, I get kind of impatient because I really want to figure out where the quick stop motel, well, where outside of the combat zone the quick stop motel is and we need to get going. I, d I don't really feel comfortable us uh, standing out in the open going through duffel bags of chips. I offer a ride to anybody that doesn't have a vehicle. Yeah, I have my motorcycle. <laughs> I got a motorcycle as well. I accept the offer of a ride. <laughs> Pop on the back. I have the a poor little media. I have a motorcycle. <laughs> I have a subcompact, so I'm all set. The media makes no money. <clears throat> all right, so. Back and, uh, hop on the bike. What you? Do, I do. You guys want me to maybe go ahead, like a little bit ahead, maybe try and scope out the quick stop motel, for, like kind of follow up on my leads, or do you guys all want to roll together in like a convoy? So who am I riding with? I'm gonna ride with some. I'm, well, I'm gonna follow somebody that's a little bit more beefy because one, although I have a hand cannon, I am not combat ready. I am. Well, can follow me. I tell, well, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who I'm. I'm trying to remember who it is that asked offer a ride. You're, you're, working, you're going with the so soloist, or no? I thought it was, I thought you were going solo. Never mind. Well, anyway, to your <laughs> answer your question, fixer. You do whatever you feel you want to, just make sure you bring those chips. Okay. Um, Heretic, it was, it was Luthis that offered you the ride. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna follow Kane. It'll be uh, somewhere in the front, since uh, I'm pretty well armored and have a pretty good weapon. Alright, so I would assume that my skin watch has some sort of GPS feature with it, probably, right? Like, smartwatch, so I, like, do a search for something called the Quick Stop Motel, and oh. I uh, head out. I'll be in the back to watch all of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, of course you would do that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Put on my protective okay. goggles before riding down the road. All right, awesome. So you all hop on whatever respective vehicle you have, and you dart off. And you all have a GPS system of some kind inbuilt into your uh, vehicle, whatever that might be. Um, and you have the coordinates way towards the quick stop motel. Uh, did anyone go ahead? I, I remember... Um, I did. You went Cletus. Ahead. Cletus, yes. Okay, Cletus. You you go on ahead, and eventually... How far ahead? By the way. Uh, let's say uh, about like an hour ahead. Hour ahead? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you start to roll up, and you see uh, a bunch of flashing lights. And... Sitting Cop there, lights or just like entertainment lights. lights? Okay. Yeah. Um, and they're in the middle of the road blocking it right off. And there stands a couple of cops. But a big old roadblock. Alright. Um, I pull over my motorcycle. I get off. And I uh, kind of walk in the direction of, of the lights of the Quick Stop Motel. And I kind of... Uh, to see if maybe I can walk casually down the sidewalk, maybe past it. Thus far, thus far, you have not seen the Quick Stop Motel. This is going to be a long ride. Oh, okay. Essentially, um, the way it works out is that you are in Ninth City, or you were, which is the center, and then the combat zone is maybe an hour or two out. Okay, okay, so like, we... so there's like a police roadblock set up on the road that takes me to where I need to go. Right. Okay. Uh, is there any sort of road that veers off? Is it, like, kind of like a, like, what's what's my environment like? Am I still kind of in the city? Am I out in, like, a rural area? You've just actually entered the combat zone, which is which is getting closer to the Quick Stop Motel, but it's, it, the combat zone, much like Night City, is a huge place. Okay. It's not bigger. Okay. Um, yeah. so then I, is there a way that I can take, like, an alleyway then? Uh, in all retrospect, you see that both sides of this roadblock are, by all means, clear. 
you could probably get a motorcycle through it, but um, anything else would be... Okay. Then uh, after like doing a couple minutes of scouting, then I get back on my motorcycle and I floor it and I just fly right through the uh, through the roadblock. All right, give me an awareness notice check before you do this. Okay, so that is a three plus my body, right? Um, awareness notice is intellect. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So five plus three, so that's eight. Do we know if these uh, chips were hauling or uh, like illegal contraband type stuff? <clears throat> you have no idea. Seventeen. Considering, considering the people that were brought onto the mission, you're gonna say yeah. All right. Seventeen. Um, as you start to get on your motorcycle, you see on either side of them there is a small, almost unnoticeable thing that are running from both, both cars Ooh. that look like a rubber rubberized strip and you recognize that as possibly a um spike strip that has yet to be deployed <clears throat> okay um um if you roll a you can attempt to roll i think it was was this nighttime An attempt to roll driving to get around them. I don't have driving skill though. Then it would it would be a straight reflex roll. Okay. I mean, I do have like my motorcycle skill. Could I just use that? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, motorcycle skill. If you're okay, motorcycle. so it would be just three, like that level plus what? Uh, Body yeah, reflex. Reflex. Okay. So, and that would be the right number in the reflex, right? Not the left number, right? It'd be the left number, yeah. Not the right. The right one is your total, and the left one is your current. The one. You gotcha, have. gotcha. Okay. Ooh. Oh Oh, roll another d10. Roll another d10. Nice! Jeez. <clears throat> Alright, so you got a total of... 34. Um, 34. Jesus Christ. So I make it through. <laughs> you made it through. The problem is, they saw you do it. You got through, and you, you, you've completely outrun them. And um, they actually quickly draw their weapons, which are like these heavy assault rifles, and start firing in your direction. But you're long gone. Okay. I mean, they can't even hit you with that level of skill. I mean, you like... Long story short, let me let me paint this image, all right? Because this was a legendary roll times three. <clears throat> you get on your motorcycle, and you rev it up a couple times, and these cops are staring you down. All right, and they're looking at you, dead in the eyes, from all the way out there. And you know you're looking at them, and yep. they know you're looking at them. And you start revving it, and you essentially rev it once to do this wheelie, and then quickly lean yourself forward over the spike strip so that the back wheel pops up, and you land safely on the other side, fading off down the barren wasteland or the road while narrowly dodging every bullet that flies past your face. Sweet. Some real Fast and the Furious type shit. Some real Fast and the Furious type shit. Nice. That's my bad boy attitude right there, yo. <laughs> Alright, so I make it through that and then I just continue down the my way to quick the Quick Stop Motel. Yeah. Right? Okay. Cool. Evan, I'm just curious, what would empathy, what does my credibility thing do? Your credibility? Yeah. That allows you to talk to um, media people, the media, whatever have you, and get information, influence them. You can influence mass media, essentially. So, it's my reputation with media, basically. Yeah. 
Well, you could say it that way. <laughs> um, later on, about an hour after this happened, the rest of you, I assume, sort of in like a convoy, did what? What did you do with the duffel bags? Did you put them all on like one or? I have I have mine over my shoulder and like uh, resting against the motorcycle. Okay, so yeah, I have mine uh, around my back on my motorcycle. I don't have one. <laughs> um, Varric, you have one on your motorcycle. Yeah, I have the uh, sh strap part around my chest and the double back <clears throat> part on my back while I'm on my motorcycle. Okay. Uh, who else has one? There's five total and that's two. Huh? Who else has a duffel bag? I have one. Alright, so you made it through with one. I think we had one per me and uh, Radic. Yeah, it was everyone else for, except for, uh... Me. Yeah. I'm the only one who didn't get one. Right. We're sharing. I, I don't have a double bag. Okay. No, you do have a yeah. duffel bag. Yeah. Unless someone took two. No, I don't. I do. Uh... Either that or we left one behind. You, you took a duffel bag. Because everyone took one except for what's his name. I specifically said there's not one for me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you all... I'm about to play that music uh, that was posted earlier. Fuck yeah, dude. It's good. Okay. Four, five. All right, all accounted for. Now, you all roll up to this uh, roadblock. What do you do? Two cops. Uh, both have vehicles. Is there um, any media around? Nope. I'll try to uh, slow down and like a... Uh, wait, wait, why? Wait, group. wait. Why wouldn't there be any media around with my stunt that I just did? If I'm an hour ahead of him. So, um, he's riding on the back of my motorcycle. Couldn't we pull up and use his media prowess or whatever he's trying to find out what's going on with the story? You definitely could, uh, but there are no media. The cops <laughs> might have shooed them away. Hunting down a lead, maybe? Yeah, the, you're not sure why the cops don't... Well, you, you also don't know about this stuff. Ah. Um, unless he called you. Excuse me. I don't have a phone. I have a radio. <laughs> I have a phone. So you get. So you guys pull up to the uh, roadblock. Uh, what are you? What are you gonna do? There I'm are gonna, just two cops. I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna frown Flint. and and find out exactly how he got. I'm gonna try and interview one of the cops. Well, yeah, and I'll be on the phone while you're doing. Act like I'm just a media trying to get a story. Okay. Um, firstly, everyone, roll me an awareness notice check. Next. Do I need to or no? No, no. Okay. So, twelve. How do I change my dice color? Up in the uh, top right. Click the color. Click the click the paint palette. It, it, it's an int and uh, and awareness notice, right? Yeah. I need one more. I've got Flint, Erdic, Luth. There we go, Kenny. Um. So you all all notice the same thing, except Varric. You don't notice this, but um, the spike strips. So we all know the spike strips. Yeah. And then, do I have to roll anything to be able to try to call them? Nope. Uh, you call them up. So, um... It's one of them Randy. 
<laughs> I'm gonna check my, to make sure my camera's recording, get my recorder, and, and act like I'm just a media desperate for a story. Alright, um, before, let, let's get through the conversation with, um, Cletus, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, so Cletus, you get a phone call. Pick it up. Hello? Hello? Hey man, <laughs> what's going on? Hey, uh... So we came up to this roadblock, and I was just wondering uh, how you got past it, or if you ended up taking another route. Oh, uh, funny story. I just, uh, I just kind of blew past it. If you guys, uh, if you guys just take, uh, you might have to leave the car behind. But if you guys uh, take some motorcycles, just blow past them. Those cops, I don't think they'll chase you. They didn't chase me. They shot at me, but uh, I, I don't think they'll chase you. Well, I've got a motorcycle, but. Uh got an extra uh, person with me. I don't think uh, Kane's... I don't think Kane can fit on my motorcycle also. Hmm. Like a bunch of stacked clowns on a mini bike. Hmm. But anyway, thanks for the info. Yep, not a problem. I'd like to use my second uh, my second security line and to call the <laughs> security line. His friend, the police officer, might be able to get us away past. Why right. call Varric when he's right next to you? Varric's with us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're all kind of just sitting in a group right now, yeah, just staring us, at the uh, cops. Us five are just chilling. Not being suspicious at all. So, uh, when, I'm walking over to try and, and right. talk to the cops okay. as well. I'm media looking for a story. I was going to say, now, since you guys were essentially doing that at the same time, so, um, Eretic, you go and talk to these cops as he calls, um, who you assume is the family. Cletus. So, what do you what do you say when you walk up to these guys? I'm gonna go say I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna act like I'm checking my I'm gonna check my camera to make sure it's recording and try and ask and interview them about what's going on with, with the roadblock. Did something happen? Is there a story here? Speak in character, like um, you walk up to the cop. What do you say? Evening. Uh. Uh. I. Do, What's with Roblox? Is there any story I can get here? No, buzz off, says one of the cops. Um, there's, there's two of them. One of them is a really heavy belt man. He's got a full cybernetic left arm and a full cybernetic right leg. And as far as you can tell, they're carrying some heavy shit. They're well armed. He says, look, we're here to do our job and there's nothing for you. Buzz off. What's the job? You don't need to know that, but you need to know. Come on, throw a guy a bone. It's been months since I got an actual story. Every time I get scooped by someone. Here, roll. <laughs> persuasion. Roll persuasion. No, roll interview. <laughs> You're interviewing him, basically. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Mm, I yawned. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I too have social, so, uh, if you need some, uh, Friendly backup, I might be able to <laughs> persuade them a little bit. <laughs> the fixer, I'm sure, can you know do some under, <clears throat> but he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> all right. So with that, he goes. All right. Look, look, look. You know, I shouldn't be telling you this. Remember this. Right. The the fixer's antisocial, guys. <laughs> Whoops. Oh Jesus! Sorry. So what shouldn't you be telling us? I'm the only one talking to them right now. Yeah, he goes, look, I shouldn't be telling you this, but uh, there's this group, C-SWAT. They found some fucking cyber psycho down the road, way inside the combat zone, but apparently he was deadly enough. And if he wanders in a night city, a lot of people are going to get ganked, all right? It's not going to be fucking pretty either. 
Look, that's all we're here to do. We got to turn anyone around. We had some psycho fucking drive on in with a fucking motorcycle. Looked like he pulled a fucking John Wick or some shit. Not sure what it was. I'm pretty sure he could kill my ass with a pencil. Fucking dude was insane. And he's like gushing over right now. And he goes, look, look, I can't tell you much anymore. All right. I just need you buzz the fuck off. Okay. You got your story. There you go. I and thank I, him and smile. And I didn't tell you shit. But there is something important in that. The cyber psycho. <laughs> Did you say that to him? Uh, or, or were you just saying that was an important... That's an important... I thought, I thought you were saying out of character that you didn't say anything. No, 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 no. That, that was him saying... This wasn't. This isn't gonna tie back to me. I never told you shit. I Can't smile. And say, I smile and say, "What are anonymous sources for?" Huh? Oh, oh, okay, okay. And you just walk off after that? Yeah. Uh, did we hear and, this conversation, or were we, were we too far away? And when I get back to the others, I say. This just got a whole lot more difficult. Well, I just spoke to uh, Cletus over the phone, and apparently he popped a wheelie and blasted through the barricade earlier, and somehow managed to dodge the bullets like freaking Neo from the Matrix. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna want to get his ass on the phone and tell him to get some get to ground because there's a fucking cyber psycho out there. So is that okay if I call again, or is Varric, yeah. you, haven't, you haven't responded to Um, you all what? notice that, um, your corporate's missing, and you see, <laughs> idly looking over, that Flint has made his way to the other guy, and they're talking. I think we lost him dead. Um, no, he's there. It's just... No, I'm here. Wait, what? So, so dead? Who am I? Am I, am I desolate in nation now? <laughs> Wait. Did no one react to me saying there's a sour psycho towards our destination? I didn't hear you. I'm not there. I'm technically an hour ahead, so I can't... Yeah, but no one else did. <laughs> I have no fucking clue where I am right now. I would be ready you to rifle, the rifle, but we're the like... Right the corporate and the six are... Aren't wait, there wait, 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 before we continue, this is what happens when you're playing two games at once. Anyway, continue. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I just hate when people are playing a tabletop game and they're doing something else. To be fair, I do the same thing, but at least I pay attention. Who's playing another game? Gosh. I was. Yeah, I was. Yeah, damn it, Josh. Anyway. So, uh, there is a alarm in Heretic's voice. Anyone else can act however they want, but, I mean, it's serious shit, and everyone should know it. Um, because normally they hurt. But on that note, um, things get a bit weird after that. Um, everyone roll me... Actually, no, MedTech, I'd like you to roll me... I'd like you to roll me an awareness knownness check. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then another if you do a thing. That works. Um, now roll me a pharmaceuticals. What's the bonus for pharmaceuticals? Is that intelligence also? That is... Probably. Yeah. Oh, that's Batter attack. No, yeah, it's tech. tech. Yeah. Tech? Okay. I've been adding notes next to everything as I so I can keep track of it a little bit better. In the uh, core rule book, you can find out where they are on uh, page 48 on the PDF Damn. part. Well, I w yeah, um, Greg was nice enough to, to tell me that earlier. I was trying to read it, but I I don't think I know enough to do it quickly, so I, I started paying attention to the, the story again. Okay. I was looking off of your sheet to get as much right. over as I could. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go get food, so fill me on in what's happened so far. All right, so the story so far is uh, you guys 
went to Comcorp, got your mission. Your mission was to deliver something from this holographic lady. It was it was super secretive. There's really shady shit going on. Uh, you found the stuff. You're currently at a roadblock that uh, our local neighborhood fixer here literally John Wicked his shit out of. All right. And I managed to get the cop to tell me we're heading towards a cyber psycho. That too. That that did happen. Which I haven't called Flint back about yet. <laughs> yeah, you're going to call right him ASAP. Flint, Flint's right here. Oh, he came. Well, to- well, he's talking to the fucking cop. You haven't told uh, Cletus. 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping track of who's who. God. Yeah, no. And that, that'll happen until we all get it because we have a big party. Like, I'm surprised this is fucking fuck. I wish I could get, put pictures up. this far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on that note, um, med tech, you start to smell something. Something doesn't smell right, and you notice it's the distinct smell. Of- well, does oh, gas? No. What does um, nasal filters impact this at all? Yes. Um, what should that have done? Well, um, yeah. you, you you smell it, and you can tell right away that it is a popular sleep drug in um, gas grenades that makes people fall asleep. And suddenly there is this distinct clinking and the cops in front of uh, Flint dive behind their uh, cars and put masks on. I'm fucked again. Um, hold on, everyone. I think I have an extra gas mask. Hold on. Is this Before... gas visible at all, or is it just completely? It it, um... it is visible and it starts coming. But I'd like everyone to roll initiative, which is your awareness notice. And if you are a solo, also your special ability of combat sense. And we add a reflex to the awareness right, notice. You want me to time? roll? You want me to no, roll? No, it's int. It's still an int. Okay. You want me to roll which dice? You ten. It's it's one d ten plus your combat sense plus your awareness known as plus your int. Holy shit! Say that again. I have my a sheet up now. Uh, combat awareness, int, and uh, awareness notice. Um, it's combat notice or wait, say it more. It's com- what's combat? What? Combat awareness. That's only uh, that's the special ability of the solo. All right. Do I actually have to roll this with having my nasal filters? Still? Yes. And this is this is initiative. Okay. Well, I rolled a twenty then. Jesus wait, Christ! How did you wait. get so low, Kane? Initiative. Initiative isn't your awareness. Yes. No, it's one d ten plus your ref. Fuck! Is it? Yeah. It's I just right here. It. Am I fucking retarded? You might be. You want me to roll again? No, uh, I'll take it this time, but I'll remember. I fucking swear to God, I thought it was awareness notice. No uh, worries. It says 1d10 plus ref. Combat awareness. It is. I, I, I I'm fine. I'm, ro- I'm fine with rolling 1d10 plus my ref. I don't give a shit. All right. I just need Cletus and Varric. Yeah. I've got everyone else. I'm up there. I got a 12. Do you need Cletus? Because he's an hour ahead of us. Yeah, oh, ma'am. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling in the wind. All right. So, um, Kane, you are up first. Uh, whoops! Didn't mean to make that. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, what do you want to do? You you have gas surrounding you. It's about to knock your ass out, and the two cops in front of you literally just dove behind the cars. Well, You're... I have. I thought I had resistance to. Oh, torture and drugs. I do not have a gas mask. Uh, you can gas probably gather the all of you. Cops are? Huh? Is there gas where the cops are? Uh, yes. There are several... You can actually notice a couple of grenades out in the middle of the road that seem to have uh, slipped everyone's uh, notice. Is the gas from the grenades? Yes. And we're in, like, a tight-packed room. 
No, you're actually out on this uh, open road, but you can already tell that you've inhaled way too much of this stuff, and you probably have maybe a minute before all shit how much goes distance, black. How much distance the opposite way? The opposite way? Yeah. Which way is the wind blowing? South. Towards us or away from us? Well, it... Um... It would be going, if you are looking at the cops, it would be going left. Which will be away from us. Yes. So we wouldn't be inhaling it. No, because the That's grenade's heavily. literally right on your dick. <laughs> like. There is not just one grenade, there are multiple grenades that got thrown. Yes. I, I'm just going to oh, say please. turn tail and turn tail and run because we're, we're, we're fucking shit out of luck. You so, or you guys could just shoot the cops. Why would we and, shoot the cops? <laughs> okay, and then waste time inhaling more ga more gas, and then we're all dead. No, it's not dead. It's sleep. But you guys have to get through the checkpoint to get to the objective anyway, so you guys ha you can't really turn around. I mean, you can. What, what's the, is there a time limit on the objective? Yeah, one year. It's not going to take us one year to just turn, turn tail and fuck up the cops. And flank them. The cops aren't necessarily the ones who threw the grenade. The cops aren't even the bad guys. Well, there's a cyber psycho nearby. To be fair, the cops okay. put on gas mask and literally dove behind the car well, before anyone noticed that the gas was there. I'll fuck up the cyber psycho. Why don't behind you guys just? Well, behind the I cars on our side or behind the cars on their side? On their side. Their side. Their side. Away. So yeah. basically, so basically, sure. the only thing you see is me standing, looking around, being very confused on the side that they were on. I'm yeah. the only one over there. You're like, what? Yeah, fuck? yeah. I'm mm -hmm. so confused. Well, I have seven <laughs> points in Jeet Kune Do, so I could rush them, knock them out, and then and then uh, knock them out, and then knock who out? The cops. Um... From you, the cops are about maybe 50, 60 meters, and each point of movement allowance lets you move um, half or five meters. And, and it's all dependent on how much movement allowance I have. Right. Uh, where do I find my movement? Oh hell no, we're turning, we're turning tail. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at step. No. Where is the movement allowance? Uh, it's one of your stats. It's, it's M L. So, what do I roll to turn tail? Uh, you just run. You say you run. Like, how much of that do you want to use? I'm gonna jump back on the bike and say go. Do you have the keys? I thought he was still on the bike. You never Me? said he got off. Technically, yeah. I, I never sure. did say I got off the motorcycle. I just said I where, made it where did I, How far did I park my car? <laughs> I assume you're all in, like, this group of a convoy just kind of talking with each other. So, yeah. well, you, well, it's still uh, Kane's turn, so correct. Yeah. So what do you want to do, Kane? You just said you ran. Yep, yeah, we ran, but how far away is my car? Like, can uh, it's you make probably it? like ten meters, and then it would take an action to get in, which you have one. So that, let's do that, and then we'll, we'll then like, hit as many people as we can, and then fucking drive through the like, checkpoint. Okay. With the spikes? Yeah. On either side, yeah. But not in the middle where the cars yeah, are. We'll drive through the middle. The gas won't hit us as long as we get the, the gas. The gas has already gotten to you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've already inhaled some of the gas. So, yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It wouldn't be such a good idea to get on our cars. Because if we're on our like motorcycles and cars and stuff, because we might fall asleep while driving and then that would be very bad. I have a feeling that's going to be a lot more painful. Yeah. How about, how about, um, you, you run to your, your vehicle and unlock the vehicle, because I have, I have, uh, nasal filters, so I'm going to be fine. Um, so basically, if everybody piles in the vehicle somehow, and I manage to get in the driver's seat and blast through the thing. Yeah, let's do, let's do that, but are, do we need to type something in, or... What do I do? Roll. I'm just slowly starting to pass out with all my recording equipment still running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
So let all right. So Kane, do you end your turn with I get in my car? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, next is, God damn it! You're gonna have to remind me how to say Luthis. 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 You can change it to an I if you want. If it makes it easier. No, it's fine. Uh, Luthis. Okay. Luth Luthis. Luthis. Okay. Um, and let's keep it to the person's turn, whoever's turn it is. Let's try to keep it to that person talking. That way, we're not talking over. Yes, please. It'll make this encounter go quicker because we have a lot of people in short time. Um, <clears throat> so, Luthis, what do you want to do? I I shout, everybody get in the the vehicle now. Um, because I was aware that I noticed that it was sleeping gas, correct? Yes. Earlier in a roll. Yes. Um, and I shout that it's knockout gas. Get in the vehicle. I'll blast through the barricade in Kane's car, and I run to his vehicle. Um and hop in the driver's seat. All right, cool. Um, so you easily move that far and you're all in. Um, Eredic, what do you want to do? I'm going to stumble towards the car because <laughs> we've already inhaled some of the sleep gas. We're going to be groggy. Probably. But my recording equipment would still be running because I never mm -hmm. turned it off after I interviewed the cop. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stumble towards the car and get in somewhat groggily mm -hmm. okay so you're in the car Fair. i picture i picture his footage being like uh like a cloverfield type footage at this point <laughs> <laughs> wobbly point of yeah <laughs> well it's mounted on my shoulder gas and like like fucking gunshots and shit going and people <laughs> screaming going on in the background oh, I like. yeah i will uh reluctantly uh, get off my motorcycle I'm like uh, what Put my bike. Uh, yeah, like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Head over to the car. You pile into the car. Okay. Flint. Oh, oh, shit. One second, Greg. Um, Take your time. Around. Yeah. Sir, Take your time. Um, Order one. You're I need you to roll me a one d ten. Hey, that's not right. Wait. Sorry, that wasn't a D10. Ah, oh, should have just gone with that number and not said anything. <laughs> so you feel a bit of a sleep on you, but it seems like it's taking a longer effect. Like it's not doing quite well. Okay, maybe. All right, so Flint, now it's your turn. Roll me a 1D10 as well. Okay. Uh, you... Um... The reason I have you guys roll is because your nasal filters only work about 70% of the time. Uh -oh. And thus far, both of you are okay. Now, what do you want to do, Flint? I want to get to where the cops are and kind of like put my back against the car because like, I have a thing that's what they're doing. Right, after they put the gas mask on, they're like put their back to the car and kind of look around and see where the fuck the grenades came from. Yeah, they're on the other side of the car from you. So you want to go to that side? Were we on the same side? They were, but they moved over the hood, like, um... Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to get over there, then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you do that, and you crouch down with them? Yeah. At that point, the gas isn't going to hit you like it was, but yeah. there's still going to be some, but you have the nasal filter. Yeah. Uh, pull out my... Oh, a pistol. Okay. And I kind of like look around and see if I can see who the fuck is that Uh, roll awareness notice. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Oh, roll. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, you are actually able to look around, and in the distance, you see this guy with a gleam to him. Almost like there's, they're wearing cybernetics or something that's yeah. exposed. And um, it looks like they have like the rough shape of a grenade launcher that they launched all that way. Alright, and I kind of, uh, I kind of give the cops a general description of like, what I saw and, and and how far away I can guess. It. Okay. Is that all you do? 
Oh yeah, yeah. and if we're gonna be blasting through the barrier from the other side or where Flint and the cops are, are their cars are gonna like move and smash the cops and Flint? Probably. Well, this would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll also probably have flats and you know spike trips. Uh, they only have that on the sides that are barren, because, like, you, you basically have two sides in the buildings. Oh, know? okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah where, where the cop cars exactly. are, where the spectrums are. I need All a right. bathroom break. I'll be right back. All right. Um, so, Flint, you notice that the cop starts to stand up and grasps his rifle a bit harder, um, and basically, like, points it at you. And he says, I know what he looks like. Don't move. And the other cop, um... Does he look bad? Bad. They're fucking aiming at us. For and me. The, uh, the other cop basically moves over the side of the car and spray and prays at you guys. So... Well, shit. Who's the driver? <laughs> nasal filters. <laughs> yeah, the nasal The guy filters. on the bathroom break. Okay, go do that, and then uh, we have an exciting conclusion to what you're about to witness. <clears throat> okay, what's the so name? I'm kind of asleep in the back of the car at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure We're Luthus was the one who was driving, but he's on a bathroom break. Look, I knew I should have uh, gone up to the cops, see if I could get their badge numbers, and maybe uh, ask my uh, police friend to do a background check on me. Probably would have been a good idea. <laughs> 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 I was too busy freaking out about the fucking cyber psycho, though. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh no. Who did this call Oh no. no. <laughs> Not Flint. Uh, call oh. up uh, Hawk, my police friend right now, and be like, Hey, we're, we're uh, sleep gas. Uh, uh, um. Where's my Who shit? did a Hold secret on. roll? No one. That was me. <laughs> Nothing shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Somebody's whispering. I just want to do that once real quick. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh. Stop whispering I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Can I fart in the mic? Jesus Christ. Noise. What the hell was that? That was my role to turn into Batman, and I think I was successful. Go to bed. Okay. How do you do the whisper thing anyway? Do you type like? Whisper Wait, whisper? is the campaign Wait, over for today? No. Oh, okay. Thought I heard someone say they were going to bed. No, I'm stopping my stream. Uh. -oh. Um, actually, first, um, are you on bathroom break, or are you back? Oh, no, I'm back. I, yeah, I'm, I don't take my headset into the bathroom <laughs> anymore. Any- uh, I pee on my mic. <laughs> Not actually in the toilet? <laughs> yeah, I just splatter it all over the place over the mic. Ah, uh, so cute. What is your torso, um, well, SP? Around what it what or um, oh my torso 24 24 all right so let's see that was one two three four ooh fuck he's you dead isn't he no not yet <laughs> I'm now gonna be using my health plan before I log off tonight. 
<laughs> you bought a health plan? I didn't know you could do that. Fuck. Oh yeah, dude. If, if the white mage goes down, you guys are screwed. You take three points of damage. Shit, I didn't realize we could buy I health plans. Three yeah, points um, of damage? Yeah. Where do I put that in it? Uh, <laughs> just tick them off on the boxes. Um, starting, starting from light. Oh, okay. So I, I took three. And then an extra three. And then I'm just gonna save you from that. What does that put you at? Uh, is it once I fill up the four slots, does that mean I have that? Yeah. Um, well, I don't have a stun yet because I have two more slots left, but it's in, it's halfway through Sirius. Sirius 2. Okay. Then for now, you are okay, but you have taken some serial damage. And why did I take damage again? Um, that cop shot at you. Oh. Hey, uh, and Barrett. He can you, uh, can you look up that cop that shot at me? Hey, <laughs> casually, like, I, you know, so that I can cop. his 401k later? <laughs> uh, <laughs> might be when we're not in a firefight. <laughs> Meanwhile, the media's falling asleep from being drugged. That happens. Camera's still recording, though. It, like, gets that, like... <laughs> That, like, near-death moment. Hey, can you look up that cop for me? Like, bullets are flying around and shit. <laughs> I, checked, I checked my med kit contents, and I didn't see anything to help out. So, no smell and salts or anything. We're still on um, the turns, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, make a make a save throw for me there, um... Uh, Luthus? Luthus, yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't just... Just one D10? Yeah. No, his name's Loctor. Um, what is your body... What is your save? Oh, fuck. Your driver, I'm afraid to say, is uh, knocked out. <laughs> Wait. Oh. If you go over the save, you fail. Wait, hold on. The line was on the other side of that dice. I think it was... Yeah, you have to make it below your save. Yeah. <laughs> was the driver me? No. Lucas. No. Oh. The medic's unconscious. A uh, oh. little bit, yeah. The one um, that could... Save nothing, huh? Nothing I have that can help me. Um, as soon as you take damage, anyone that takes damage makes a stun save, and if they fail it, KO. Okay. Um, a pop, pop, pop. I have a med kit. Well, then you can make sure he doesn't die, but he's okay. He's just knocked out for now. I'm knocked out and driving the vehicle. I'm very talented. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I assumed the vehicle was up. Kane. Weekend at Luthus's. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, you notice that the driver is now KO'd. Is he, is he like. And bleeding. Driving it? And bleeding. Is, mm. oh, is he still got his foot on the pedal? Luthus, make a endurance check for me. 1d10? Uh, plus body if you don't have endurance. Um, Which I don't think you do. Who knows? Is endurance a skill or something? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, fucking Christ. Roll another 1d10 for me. God damn it. Must have been driving really fast, man. <laughs> I told you guys about hashtag Ryan's life before I became the medic. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ times two. Huh? I said fucking Christ times two. I'll be dead on day one. <laughs> that would suck. You might get the whole car, like the whole, remember the whole, the whole rest of the group is in the car? Except for like um. me and Flynn? <laughs> So I'm going to say you drop your foot hard on the gas pedal and oh, immediately God. start flying forward. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Steering. Right, and well, it... I grab the wheel and try to control it. Okay, make a drive check. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad when he's just like, 
Uh, I have drive, but I'm probably in the back seat. Make a what check? A drive. drive check. Uh, uh. uh, nigga, I better be in the fucking passenger seat. Hey, you are. Here, <laughs> bud. <laughs> um. So if you don't have drive, do reflex and the D10. Don't get a one. Don't get a one. Can't uh, get a one. Get you a have one. a stroke when you try to crash the wheel. <laughs> Uh, eight in his <laughs> He's like, holy shit. Oh, hold on. Are you fucking- <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Whoopsie. I mean, I'll you still add- you still, Yeah, you still add a reflex. Now, you don't get the re-roll. You I still mean, that's, gotta- that's, that's still a 10. I didn't even include the fucking reflex, so shush. Well, we you know it's eight. eight. Oh, oh. So, uh, you try and grab the wheel, and you're able to- you know, you can, can, you basically drive it straight. You can't stop it, but you drive it straight, which is right into two motorcycles who are... <laughs> we looped around and hit our parked ones. <laughs> One is Varix. No. Oh, God. <laughs> so we haven't even blasted through the barricade yet? <laughs> yeah. Not yet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're blasting through our own things right now. <laughs> <laughs> we just the, got into the vehicle. And got, that I'm gas, so that gas is like really fucking no, with no, you guys. No, you, know what I don't like, you know what I don't understand? Just I'm here laughing. The fuck you mean? You're fucking out in fucking Narnia, jacking your little wee wee. <laughs> just having a good time out here, man. Just you know, waiting, waiting for you guys to show up. Yeah, I'm like, God damn, it's though. been three days. Where the fuck are they? You're gonna see our dead corpses on the road. I'm yeah, like, like really, I'm just like sitting here outside of the hotel, like I've done enough surveillance. <laughs> the roll is going. And and the other one is Luthus's motorcycle and or car. <laughs> <Suck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's okay. Well, you just kind of yeah, you just kind of break part of your own. Huh? There's also my motorcycle. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it's yours since Luthus is technically his, his is driving right now. Uh, I you had a car, No, I have a motorcycle. Yeah. Why would a corporate be driving a motorcycle? <laughs> be driving a fancy car. Because I'm a very, I'm a very energy efficient person with, that likes motorcycles. Fuck Greg off. tries to save He's money for the company. Suit. Yeah, man. I gotta Wait. have enough money to buy the suit, Braxton. 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 <laughs> All right, Declan. What? <laughs> his name is Braxton. You guys are giving me shit for calling him his real name. Wow. Oh, fucking Teddy Sprinks. Um. <laughs> Sprinks? Yup. <laughs> Teddy Sprinks. All right, uh, roll the fucking dice. All right, so, well, uh, Kane, is that all you do is, um try and control the car well i mean that's i mean where the fuck are we while driving this thing I mean, <laughs> do i just keep it straight or because i'm thinking yeah you're keeping it straight for right now are we past the barricade where the fuck are we no you you're just past all the um motorcycles does the car get to roll for airbag deployment yes I think I'm fucking joking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luthus, it's your turn. Oh, God. Okay, as I'm dangling out the windshield, knocked Make out with bullet wounds and my legs stuck <laughs> in the gas pedal. Make a 1d10 for me first. Okay. Make a 1d10. Three. Is that equal or lower to your save? It's lower than my save. Okay, you are back up. Okay. Um, can I immediately dig in my backpack and inject myself with some healing goodness? I don't- what- what healing goodness do you have? Healing right. good- healing doesn't work like it does well, in DC. I meant- well, okay, all joking aside, um, <laughs> is the- is the spray skin something that would be used in this for the bullet wounds in my stomach? Yeah. Okay. You're not gonna bleed out. So. I'm not going to, or that will yeah. stop- It'll, it'll it'll stop the bleeding. Okay, so can I go ahead and just use one of those then? Yeah. What do I have to roll for that? The, the, that's that's an action. 
you just take the action to do it real quick. All right, so I should reduce my count to four then, correct? Um, I'll say it heals you one, so it'll it'll give you one point back. Okay, but do I have to adjust my gear down to say I only have four left? Yeah. Now, since I spent money on that in the beginning, do I need to adjust my max dollar amount to no. reflect? So yeah, I, make sure. I, it, yeah, just make sure it keeps, and uh, when you run out, just put. Um, oh, keep increasing that amount. Right. Like the, the cost amount. Okay, I'm following you. I know it, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. All right. So take away one one wound marker. Yes. Okay. Is that all course, you do? Well, I didn't. Um, so was that save roll to see how much damage I took from ramming into whatever we hit? No. That was to save to wake back up. Okay, so now I'm. Am I taking damage from the vehicle hit? Not yet. No. Okay. All right. Well, then, I, um, is that the end of my turn? No. You. You can. Um. Each action you take makes you have. Like, if you want to take two actions, say you want to fire twice, you have to have a negative three on the next one and a negative six on the next one, and so on and so forth. It's pretty much redundant. Okay. Um, is anybody else hurt? Uh, not yet, no. no. just asleep. <laughs> okay, well then, I'll, I'll just end my turn there. Okay. Uh, Aridic, it is your turn. You're in the back seat to the left, and Luthus, you're in the driver's seat. Kane, you're in the passenger seat, and Flint, you are not in Varric. Yes, Varric is in the right seat. I'm unconscious. I'm gonna. Sh so, am I a sleeper now at this point? Because um, we were gassed. No, not yet. You are on the brink. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I can do. I will say it probably wasn't a smart idea not taking your foot off the pedal. <laughs> Wait, me? Yeah. Oh, I thought we already hit something. Yeah, you did, but your foot's still on the pedal. So the vehicle's still moving? Yeah, they're only motorcycles. Oh, yeah. well, so but you already, no, you already ended your turn. That's <laughs> the bad part. <laughs> I was under the impression that when we hit, we stopped. That's otherwise I'd... Okay. I'll say... Like, I'll I thought say we were outside it's... the vehicle and... And you know, like otherwise, I wouldn't even have tried to heal myself. Oh no! You're, yeah, no, you're still you're still in the vehicle, but I'll say like it's slowing down, but it's still on the course of hitting uh, the two vehicles. Yeah, because if I'm awake, I'm not gonna sit there with my foot on the pedal. Wouldn't that be a natural panic? I guess. Uh, makes you do something. I don't know. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, no worries. I'll just let it slide. All right, cool. Aretic, what do you what do you uh, what do? I'm trying to think what I can do, because... You shout at me to take my foot off the pedal. I yeah. Am... <laughs> I am falling asleep from being gassed. Yeah. Can't shoot for shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to try and shoot at this range. I mean, you're, you're basically in close range. Yeah, but also the fact that we're in a moving vehicle. That's going to fuck with my MM1BS. Well, yes. Yeah. I guess yeah. I'll yell at him to get his foot off the gas. Fuck, take his foot off. Okay. Is that all you do? Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can't use my. Did I get the friggin' good combo? No, I got the. I'm gonna see if I can't use my pocket combo to just send a general broadcast saying, saying what's going on. Okay. Over the radio. All it, right. It's within ten miles, so. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I'm gonna say, say cops gassed civilians for no reason. Shoot now, now shooting on them. What channel? In a very sleepy voice. The news channel. Uh, and hope uh, that media picks up on it. Okay. All right. I respond to Eric, um, saying. Okay, Jesus Christ, I didn't know what the hell was going on here. One minute I'm asleep and I'm, I'm blasting through my own motorcycle. 
Wait, you don't have... Wait, did you have a motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah, Eric was riding on the back of it. Whose fucking car is it? It's uh, Kane's car. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. I, I really took his keys from him. him. He was drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, is that all you do, Eric? Yeah. Okay. And I get... And I, and I crouch down in the car as I fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. Derek? Derek. Derek. Alright. Um. Uh, is the uh, windshield, like, uh, gone, or does it just have bullet holes in it? Oh, it's got bullet holes in it. Okay. Oh. Right. Well, I'm gonna add some more, because I'm going to, uh, uh, throw my rifle up between the two people in the front seat, and, uh, yeah, see if I can get a couple of shots off at the, uh, cop that shot at the... One driving. Well, that probably just... makes both of those guys deaf because that's an A uh, rifle shooting right in your fucking ear. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, I get any uh, penalties to it since we're like moving. Okay, but why do I have to have amplified hearing when his fucking rifles? Are... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not gonna have amplified he hearing anymore. <laughs> You're gonna be fucking amplified deaf. <laughs> 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 Um, so just roll your rifle, plus reflex, plus 1d10. Yeah, I have it all calculator here. What a guy, dude. <laughs> what a guy, dude. <laughs> oh god, that was old. Yeah, you fucking, you fucking hit. How many times do you want to fire? Uh, 80. So I get, uh, uh, minus one each time I fire or something like that, what was it? No. That's if, like, since, since, uh. Um, What's your rate of fire? It, your rate of fire is 30. So you can fire right. 30 shots. You can fire 30 shots. They're Jeez. saying if you're, if you're wanting to fire your whole magazine, which is 35, you would have to take a neg 3. Oh, okay. Alright, uh. I'll take five shots. Okay. So just do the same thing five times, or four more times? Yeah. Oh, well, dicks. Fuck. You fire once, perfect headshot. Fire twice, you're gonna explode. Yeah, roll me, <laughs> uh, roll me an unmodified 1d10. You poor bastard. Um... Oh. Your, your weapon jams. Well, dicks. Does that take away uh, one shot or the rest of them? Uh, it's jammed. <laughs> you have to unjam uh, it now. That take yeah. away one of them, yeah. No, that, that's gonna take the whole turn. <laughs> roll jammed. You just roll your one damage for one. Yeah. Like the it, most jinxed right. group of assholes ever to come together. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, a <laughs> five d six. Mm -hmm. This is my second time on Conscious in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna have brain damage. <laughs> I'm really good at getting a story. I sleep through it. <laughs> oh, hey guys, that was so quick. That was so nice. Is that good? <laughs> um, let's see what it's just sleepy, it's all it is. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get shot in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was technically a possibility. Is he in the passenger seat or in the back? Back. Oh, back God. right side. No one's dying. I trust right, Varric or Lucius. Uh, Roll one more one d ten for me, by the way. Me? Uh, Varric. All right. I trust in Bianca. <laughs> So you see your bullet bounce off some armor of the cop's shoulder. The one that fired at you. Yeah. Please hit. All right. Please hit. Is that all you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I will uh, spew a string of profanity as my fucking gun jams. <laughs> uh, that first really good shot. And, uh, yeah, just try to... Uh, Slunk down in the back, I'm, I'm out of actions, but I'll uh, begin to uh, uh, attempt unjamming my gun. Alright. 
Oh damn, you're coming in. Well, <laughs> there's a gun to my fucking face. Yeah? Go ham and holy, bro. Well, I have my hands up with my pistol still on, you know. Still Bite high. the barrel and just scream, DO IT! <laughs> <laughs> so who did who did um Eric shoot? The uh the guy across from you, not the one pointing the gun at you. Alright. These guys have helmets on? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Uh, no, neither of them do actually. I was gonna say I don't remember seeing helmets on the cops, at least in the pictures in the the manual. If I'm I mean, fast, sometimes enough, they do, but no. If I'm fast it's... enough, can I like, since he has a gun in the face, can I like <clears throat> move to the left real fast and shoot him in the face? Uh, I will allow that to be a snapshot. That's a neg three. No, it's neg a three to shot. it. Yeah. All right. So just roll handgun, basically, at a neck. Oh three. shit! Uh, and it's a called shot to the head. Yeah. Neck six. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think uh, I think that's right. Let me let me double check. Um, what's Clint doing? About to shoot a bitch, I think. Maybe. Probably He's trying to shoot. I mean, Maybe Cletus. Oh. Cletus is oh, off in one. Dog. Yeah, I'm just He's chilling. Not doing anything. He's jacking his little fucking small wee wee. Out in the desert. <laughs> with a cyber psycho around. Yeah, hey, with a, no, the cyber psycho is right in front of us. He's the one that threw grenades at us. While you're out in that there desert, you should get some uh, cactus flowers for us to use for ointment. Gotcha. Or cactus flowers to put on our fucking graves. <laughs> That's all your character reminds me of now, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look up, yeah. uh... Anyway, uh, yeah, it's next six. six. Okay. Cletus? So, it's, like, technically is it a neg nine? Why would it be a neg nine? Because you said... Neg, it was neg three for a snapshot, no, then a neg six. No, it's a, it's, it's a neg six total. Overall? Okay. Yeah. Neg. Okay, so I still get six. Feels good. Nug nug. Snoop snoop. Uh, I don't think I hit. Damn. Damn. You rolled a six nine. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> um. You quickly pull out your pistol. I've had my pistol in my hand. Oh, you did. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh. Never mind. That does hit them. That's it's not a snapshot then. You're not quickly drawing from holster. I thought it was yeah. holster. No, okay. because I had my pistol out and then he said and then I was like the guy's over there and he said I know and he he said put your hands up and don't move. Okay, and roll damage. I just put my hands up and I had my gun in my in, in my hand. Yeah, roll roll damage. It's a shot to the head too. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> That's Mustache fat. Mustache fat. He uh he takes twenty six damage to the head. What you Damn. Mean? He's dead as fuck. Damn. I broke my screen share. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Ah. Okay, nice, there we nice go. Break. I fixed it. I want to see a dick on that green screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I want it with that that yawning expression too, and the dick just inserting. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But, yeah, so he just basically the guys half the head the guy's head's gone, I believe, right? Half. <laughs> Try all. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and then okay, and then did you say it's a neg three, right? Yeah. It, it, to do a shoot another round? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And then also call for a headshot. <laughs> uh, that'll be a nice six. <laughs> <That'll be laughs> <nice>. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I still just plus six. Feels Go good. ahead and slap on like negative 40. <laughs> Watch him roll 10. 
<laughs> Barely! Dicked. Ryan, are you using the audio sorry, jack? Sorry, sorry roll damage you? again? No, you missed. I, oh, yeah, the audio I? jack on the... Yeah, because the first one, I, I added three to it. Oh, he, he, wouldn't, he, he wasn't expecting it? Oh, I got you. Right. What'd you say, Mel? I have to tell you you're not get... oh, okay. That's two shots. <clears throat> Wait a minute, isn't your rate of fire two shots? No, it's one. Ah. Yeah. Uh, can I use my movement allowance to like... Oh, fuck. I, I'm, I, I'm actually pinched right now. Yeah. Hmm? I've been looking all around the character sheet and I cannot find this movement allowance. It's, it's, it's on the your it's, stats. It's on the stats. Like, there's body, int, cool, MA. That's moving a lot. Oh, duh. Yeah, MA. Um, I guess I'm just gonna try to... I'm not what's, a the close, what's the closest cover away from the fucking grenade launcher and the police officer? Probably the overturned bikes and the quickly approaching... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to one of the bikes. Okay. If I can, how day. far away is that? In doing so, you'll also dodge the car, so that's probably a good idea. Um, I'm gonna say that's probably... You should jump on the hood of the car. 50 meters thereabouts for you? 50? Okay, well, I'm gonna move 20 meters there. Like you're pretty French, bro. And that's my turn. Alright. And is the uh, MA, like, the exact number of meters you can... Uh, no. move on your turn. Um, it's every one MA is five meters. Oh, okay. So I have I have four MA, so I can move twenty meters each turn. All right. <laughs> what is going on? Why can I not? Ooh. That's my go. Cletus so, dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm alive as fuck. Well, he's gosh, just not yeah. here. Yeah. I'm like yeah. literally. I'm at probably the quick stop motel at this point. Each round is three seconds. Oh really? Yeah. This is okay. all. The, yeah, each round is like three seconds. Okay. So it's only been about a minute since yeah. combat started. This is all happening at the same time. The same time I blasted the guy in the head, a bullet ricocheted off that guy, and car just hit a bike and it's continuing to roll. Jesus. That that all happened within like three to six seconds. Damn. And I yelled at him to wake up and get his foot off the gas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then proceed to fall asleep. I was gonna say, as, as soon as all that happens, once this round starts, everyone that doesn't have nasal filters falls the fuck asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Uh, should I have rolled a d10, by the way? I was considering getting nasal filters, but I said I didn't do. Mm. I didn't even see them on the... Oh, so, um, who does, it, who does have nasal filters, I should say? I, I think it's just filters. Flint and and Lithus. And Luthus. Alright, Luthus and Flint, you're the only two people left in um initiative. Uh the cop I don't have you just shot falls to the ground dead. Greg. I thought I had initiative. Even though I went to the car and everything. Yeah, but you're still asleep because you don't have nasal filters. You fell asleep. Right. Oh I didn't know I knock I didn't know I was knocked out. Yeah, so the, at, at the beginning of this turn, at the at this round, everyone that doesn't have nature filters got knocked out. Yep. Fuck, dude. Feels bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> at least that's like, like, not being unconscious in an hour. Fuck, fuck you, Desolated. Just fucking chilling with the psycho. I was the one that decided to go an hour ahead. You guys could have came with me. <laughs> or one of you guys could have. Um, um, in the story, in, in the story, you're, you're, my, you're my right hand. <laughs> I was just like, I was just like out of That's it. what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my uh, <laughs> webcam to work because it was working yesterday. But for some reason today, as soon as I try to uh, switch to my webcam, it just rapidly <laughs> flashes between all three of my screens like it doesn't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> just gives you an air. What is that? Your porn cup? That's his. That's his. Your beer cup. That's his jizz jug. Jizz jug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Hey, hey, nice. 
I guess I could nah, show my fat ass. I, okay, I'm starting to I'm starting to believe that Braxton is now a fan because every time we fucking he turns it on, he just turns into a fan. He said, "Fuck, are you moving?" It? Okay, I thought it was bobbing up and down. It's like Braxton, that's not normal. Oh, I need one of those chairs, bro. You're not talking in chat. You mute fucking yourself? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot I went on push stuff. Oh, shit. Whoa. LOL. LOL XXXXD. I need you to- I need- I need you to tell Eric to look in the webcam for like three seconds. He's in bed, he has to get up early. What the fu- oh, that's part of his- what the fu- I see fucking a head?! What the fuck is that?! Oh, it's part of his chair, and his oh, his headphones are on the head of the chair. Yeah. His headphones are like on the head yeah, of the chair. I was like, that's a what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. You okay? Okay. I'm fucking insane. Hey, Just uh. Said it. Hey, hey, uh, Flynn. Yeah. What's your right arm armor? Fuck. Apparently, I closed it. Right arm. Fourteen. Oh, I, what's your torso? Sorry. Fourteen. Oh. Um, oh my God, Ryan. <laughs> um. You take seven points of damage. Or never mind. He has a bit of some stuff. Damn it! You should have jumped in the hood, bro. Could have still <laughs> break you. I'm good. I still don't have a stun yet. Uh, you actually have to roll 1d10 for me. Oh. Do a stun save, brah. Oh. No. I made it. What's your body? It's 7 or lower, isn't it? Your oh, body or oh, lower? Fuck. My right, body's so 7, bruh. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the burn. That fucking hurt, but I was like, oh, god. Um, alright, so then I... Alright, so 7 points of damage. Shit hurts. Yep, I um, I'm almost I almost have stun one, but I don't yet. Uh, the cor the Corsair Vengeance, I think twenty three hundred. Uh oh, okay. I thought that it looked like Astros for a second. Alright, you got, got an older version of Logitech Brax. On that point. note, you guys hear several more footsteps approaching from either side of some buildings. I couldn't hear you in chat, but... 2100s. Oh, the 2100s? Me and Ryan have the G633. Did you say Nipson? Um, Lith... Lithus... Luth... Luthus... Luthus. Like Luthus. 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 I'm about to change Luthus. my name to Luther. <laughs> L Luthus and Flint. It you might help a bit if you change that Y to an I. You both see about three or four goons. Well, four goons step up and around some corners with fully loaded heavy rifles pointed at you, Bucks. Good God. And they're Why just like... Why am I not like, alive? Why am I not awake for this? Sleep gas? I could fuck them up right now. We're Show. supposed to be asleep, aren't we? <laughs> We're all gonna die. So I'm the only one awake. Yep. Um, well, I mean, Flint. Flint is too. He uh, he made a he stun save. Where, well, where is he at in reference to the vehicle? And is the vehicle stopped? He's uh he's probably about uh probably about thirty or now I'd say fifteen meters from the vehicle. Um, and I didn't hear you earlier if you said anything about. Oh. I didn't what? hear what you said. You cut out about what? Oh, is, is the vehicle still moving? I uh, know it's slow to stop midway between the bikes that you crashed into that um, he's going to and the cop cars. Okay. Um, is the vehicle still in working condition? Uh, as far as you can tell, yeah. Um. I guess the first thing I do is shout out the window. Flint, are you going to get in? Fucker. Is 
shot right now. I can't answer. Wait, what? He's, he, he just got shot. We're being shot at. I'd rather not answer right now. Oh. Okay. Um. I got to stop fucking torso. I'm bleeding, okay? <sighs> Alright, Mr. Attitude. <laughs> um. I just, I guess, continue. Driving forward? Punch me until I'm awake. Um, can I roll an awareness to look at the guys coming around the corner? I mean, you notice them, yeah. Are okay. you trying to, like, find, like, specific details about them? Like, if they're hostile, like, uh... Oh, they're hostile as fuck, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, I'm not a combat person, so... Nah, I guess I... I guess I should help... Like, a miracle I guess I, sh I guess I should help Flint to get him since he's the only other person still awake. Unless I can roll something to, like, slap awake the others, but... Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're basically drugged in the sleep. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well then, I'll, I'll shoot to assist Flint. Don't I have resist drug thing? Uh, oh, like, that's for, like, torture and stuff like that. Uh, like, if, if you're given drugs. You're a mess. Alright, okay. so... Mess. The... the cl uh, I would like to shoot at the police officer that Flint was shooting at. Okay. Oh, the one I was. Sh oh, the first one or the second one? Because first one's dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I must have missed that. Uh, then I, I shoot I the, the I only blew, other blew, living officer. Then I blew his face off. All right, roll. I my... blew him. <laughs> uh, what are you shooting kind of with? Tinked off the other one. My my handgun yeah. that's from my subdermal holster. Okay. And what's the what's the Bonus from handgun skill, or handgun skill. Uh, it's gonna be reflex plus handgun. And yeah. which which reflex one do I use? The left one or the right? Left. Left. You always use left. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. Cause on my uh, reflex, I have the right being ten, but the left is just empty. Well. Gee. If you have anything that like contradicts your like it says you get minus to ref, what you do is you'll in the in the left side you'll put what uh, the minus is. So if you have something that says negative one to ref, what you would do is you put nine out of eight. Like my character being uh, alcoholic. Yeah. So my damage is is yeah four, I don't have anything then. Is four d six plus one. Well you got to roll to hit. So it's like it's um, the handgun plus the um, plus, so it's plus. ref plus the level, cool, right? Yeah. And then one d ten. Mm-hmm. All right, that'll be good enough to hit him. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. Ooh. Wrong damage. You for the handgun, you roll the damage. Yeah, there should be a uh, weapon uh, damage day. What is your weapon? The Colt AMT Model 2000. You do 46 plus one. Yep. So, plus one modifier and yeah, and then 46. Damn. Well, this sucks. Roll one more. Uh... Uh, one you can for me. Okay, uh, let's see. see. He takes... Fucking hell. How much damage did you do? 20. 20? He takes... 2 damage. Uh... Um, yeah, where do you get the uh, plus one anyway? God gives you a plus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah my uh, rifle gives me a plus one too. Okay, I forgot to add that in. I don't think your ref gets added to damage. You're right. Look at the gun itself, if you look at the gun, it says 46 plus one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not on the, like, no. uh, R, I, F, plus one, N, and C? No, like, if the, gu the gun, that when it says damage, it will say what it does. So what gun do you have? Okay. 
Uh, Militech Ronin Light Assault. All right. So really, not too do, frustrating. We do, we do five units. <laughs> No, that's so, it's fine. Right, yeah, that's what I have done. Yeah, if you had the FNL heavy assault, you would have that plus two because it's sixty six plus two. I was sort of expecting this. Like I knew I wanted to get a test thing done um, and everything, so people kind of went through a combat, knew what things were going through. I didn't expect Desolated to make it right past the fucking blockade. <laughs> <laughs> I evil can evil stuff. badass. It was what badass. I set I set the DC at impossible, which is a thirty. You got thirty-two, and I was like, I can't just say no. You <laughs> got. <laughs> and I was like, no, nope, don't, don't do it. You gotta get through the spike no. strips. You but, but, but what you could have done, what you could have done is you got over the spike right, and then like four more miles ahead, there was another blockade. <laughs> <laughs> so how much health left does that police officer have? Uh, he's, we don't he's know. Just like you guys, yeah. He's just like you guys. He took a few damage. Oh, okay. He'll. Uh, or let me see what his. We have no way of knowing exactly how.